everything else you got going on. No distractions, pen, paper, that's it. This little device with all the ding dings, throw it away. All right, we're gonna throw that away. Number two, we got prizes today. Who likes presents in here? Who likes to get free shit? Yeah, give me a, give me a one in the chat. And this is the other thing, guys, get that one button ready. I like to say this a lot. Drop me a one in the chat if you like free shit. You're on today. Today's free shit. So I know you like it. So drop that one button. Good, 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 good. Cool. We have some prizes today. And I'm going to let Rahul go through what one, two, and three are in just a second. But how you're going to win those prizes is by being on camera. If you have your camera off throughout this presentation, you are ineligible. I got to see your beautiful self showing up and taking action with me. All right. Got to see that shit. Two, you got to be engaged in the comment section here in Zoom. And you got to leave a comment and a like button or the heart button on the Facebook thread as well. Got to do that. The more comments you post on both of those spots, the more engaged you are in this thing, the better you're going to get. All right. The more points you're going to get, the more likely you are to win first, second, or third place. And finally, there's going to be a few instances throughout this presentation where we're going to actually do shit. Okay. And I see one person saying, sorry, I got a, a rag on my head. I don't even care. That's fine. I accept all forms of people here today. <laughs> Show up, be here, and let's do some shit. All right. All we're asking is take action. So we're going to do a few things. There's going to be a mindset exercise. There's going to be a little bit of an offer thing. We're going to create some content together. And I'm going to show you how easy it is, honestly, every one of those steps. Every time that we progress to another level, we're going to have something to do. And if you want to win, you got to do each and every one of those things. Now, we have people in here who are going to be watching. So if it looks like I'm distracted because I'm moving at a million miles an hour and I'm talking too much, don't worry. I have at least six other sets of eyes in here who are paying attention to make sure you guys are getting shit done. Give a shout out to my man, Ben. I don't know where he is on your screen, but he's down below me right here. You can see him oh. here because he has GSD mode on. Say hello, Ben. What's up, guys? Perfect. We got my other man, Jacob, who looks like he's about to go live streaming some video games. Say hello, Jacob. Say hello to the crowd. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Perfect. So when you see those guys interacting in the chat and they're kind of just acting like they're a part of the GSD team, they're not just acting. They are a part of the team. They're here to help. Now, Rahul, can you let these guys know what are the uh, what are the prizes so that they know what they're trying to hunt down today? Okay. While we do the prizes, Ben, will you drop the link in the Facebook group and also, <clears throat> excuse me, in the uh, Zoom chat as well? So we're going to give you guys a little bit of a GSD background that is also going to allow you to register, get some points so we can actually see you guys and you'll stand out a little bit more. If you see my man, Ben, he has the GSD mode on graphic. So if you guys want it, you got it, but it's more meaningful than just branding the GSD. It's more about like a culture that we try to build. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with you guys. We have it branded all over the place. You can see in my background, you can see on my phone right here, we have the graphics everywhere, but it's just a constant reminder of why we're doing what we're doing. It's kind of like a, an elimination of distractions, if you will. So every time we see this little symbol, it actually symbolizes, why did I pick up my phone? It's not to get into a fucking scroll, scroll trap on TikTok. It's not to start going on Facebook and getting distracted. So I spent an hour there and then I didn't realize that I've just seen like, like fancy like by Walker Hayes a million times by a bunch of people dancing around. We just want to stay super, super focused. And we want to stay non-distracted because where energy goes, focus flows as well, right? So that's exactly what we want to do. Now, let's go over these prizes. And like, I want to see the engagement in here. So I'm going to go over everything you guys can heart. I want you guys out there in Facebook world, whoever's watching this, hashtag live, hashtag replay. You guys also participate on here because we're watching all of you guys. We're going to kick your ass a little bit through this day so we can actually get one step better than we started the day with. Um, so third place you guys ready for this you guys ready let's get some let's get some uh numbers in the chat three if you're ready three if you guys are ready because these are some gifts that you guys are going to want these are the things that it didn't come easy for us it came through a lot of trial and error paying a lot of people a lot of money and getting this shit dialed in really really well all right all right so third place we're going to give away and we're going to pick which masterclass this is based on whoever wins this. Okay. It's going to be one free ticket to one of the masterclasses we've already hosted. We sell these things from anywhere from $97 to $500. One of you guys are going to get 
one of these master classes completely free and we'll pick it based on where you are in your business. All right. So who, who likes number three so far? I know you don't know what it is, but I guarantee you, if you don't have what you want, whether it's paid ads, sales, organic traffic, content calendars, what to do on video, all of that shit we've mastered or we've done our best to continuously master over the last 17 and 18 years. Awesome. All right. So prize number two, and we're going to be giving these out throughout the whole entire day here. So we're going to be spending some time together. Um, number two is we're going to bring you into one of our inner circle calls. This is the inner circle of the GSD. Our private members pay for this. We're going to bring you on one of our calls and we're going to be going over messenger because messenger is one of the most important ways to mature your contacts, your, uh, like get your clients to want to actually go on to a call with you to find out what you do, become more curious. They'll be motivated to want to work with you. And then prize number one. Well, first prize place. Number two, though, by the way, I'm going to stop them. It's our most popular call, by the way. I compete against everyone. It's our most popular call, right? So you guys can ask current GSD members. It's not just any call. It's the most important call of the week. So all right, all right. Here's, here's an extra bonus point. Who can guess who hosts that call? based on what just happened. Anybody? Anybody get <laughs> extra bonus points? There we go. Yeah, and, yeah. And just real quick, like how many of you guys are getting stuck on messenger? People are just stopping you in your tracks. Like someone replies and you're like, Oh shit, I got to reply back. Like, do you guys ever feel stuck? Because it's a, it's small tweaks. Cause we were all there. We're all in your seats where it's like, Holy fuck. Like, what do I say? How do I get creative? What if I cause resistance? What if they start talking shit and I could flip this? Like all of those things are one sentence, one conversation away from tweaking it. And then it unlocks like your inner workings of your brain. Then you start to unleash what you're capable of. Once you get past that first little hump, because we all have been there before where we're just stuck. And once we get that little, little momentum, then it kind of frees up everything and it can change the dynamic of a business. So that's a really important call. So Ben is the man behind that call. So I just gave himself a little pat in the back there. Now, let me go into what I think is going to be the best one out of all of them. It's first place. So on this call, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute call with yours truly. So I'll walk you through anything that you want. These are things that we charge a thousand dollars an hour for my time. You're going to get it completely free. We just talk about anything where you're stuck. And the most common things I see are offers, target audiences, where to get the traffic. And a lot of the time it's inside your head, how to actually unlock what's inside your brain to do the things you know you should be doing, but then do them in the right order. So you feel clear because when you feel good, you do good, do good things. But when you're stuck, you kind of make these excuses that, hey, I just need this. I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just figure it out. I'll just watch another video. So we want to get you guys unstuck so you're abundantly clear. So when you're selling to your target audience, you feel extremely confident because it starts with you. Because if you are confused, I can guarantee you your audience is too, and it won't work out so well. And what that causes is you to make up offers on the spot. What that causes is to change niches and in industries. So it causes a lot of things that are not the solution. It's just because we're uncertain and we're not clear. So those are going to be the three prizes. Just to summarize, third place is going to be a free ticket to a masterclass. Second place is going to be an inner circle call with Ben on your messenger strategies. And first place will be a one-on-one -on -one anything goes call. Who wants that shit? Tell me right now who's pumped up and wants some free shit. Drop me a one in the chat, a GSD in the chat, a hell yes, please in the chat. Actually, tell me two. We want more. What's your favorite one? One, two, or three? Drop the one, two, or the three for whichever one you think you really pumped up to get. Let's see who gets what. We got a three. We got a one. We got a three. Hmm. All right. I'm number one, by the way, just so you guys are, are clear. <laughs> I wonder how that came about. Cool. Awesome, guys. Love it. One thing I forgot to say was everybody out in Facebook land, you're immediately disqualified if you don't click that link and hop in the Zoom chat with us. I want to see your faces. You got to be here with us in this room so that we can take action together. Not over there on Facebook watching that shit. I want you to watch it. That's cool. It's great. That's why we have it over there. But come be a part of the family today. Take some action and let's get some shit done. So if you're out there on Facebook, one more time, if you want to win any of those three, in my opinion, priceless prizes, and I think Kristen said that in there somewhere too. Shout out, Kristen. Appreciate you as always. Then you got to hop in here in the Zoom chat and you got to show your face. Those are the rules. Engage participate, take imperfect action and get shit done, guys. That's what we want. That's what we do. 
Uh, and now it's about time to hop in. Any last minute before we hop in and just dive right into this shit, Rahul, anything you want to review, go over, or are we ready to hit it? Yep, I just want to give you guys, because the chat was moving pretty quickly, I just want to drop this link in there. That should be the link. If you guys do want the graphic, you can download this immediately. All you do is literally click the link, right-click it, save it to your desktop, and just add it to your desktop, your Zoom background. And you'll also see other things on there, but I don't want you to get distracted because we have screen savers, we have iPhone savers, all that stuff. You can grab all that later. It's totally free. It's just a symbol of focus. That's all it really is. So with that being said, let's kick this party off. All right. Who's ready to get shit done? Drop me a get shit done or a GSD in the chat. When I see, I don't know, 20 of them, we will launch this beast and get going. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Good. Beautiful. Love it. Two more. There we go. All right, guys, let's get some shit done. Let's hop into this. Moving over to this. Guys, today what we're going to be going over is how to find your customers free, fast, and with a purpose using nothing except for your Facebook profile. Amazing things you can do with this also include, you know, utilizing similar concepts and strategies on platforms like Instagram. Today we're going to be focused entirely on authentically building your audience and authentic permission-based marketing to create conversations and generate sales. Hey, you're asking if this is recorded. My man, this is streamed live to the group and it will be there for a while. Maybe not forever, but for a while. So it will be there for a little bit. So what we're going to be doing today is teaching you how to do this every single month. All right. And how do we know how to do it? Because we've done it over and over again for ourselves and for 150 plus other students, some of whom are in here accomplishing these goals right now. They're here for an update because today is Perfect Stranger 2.0 meaning we're going to be including some new stuff, like how to formulaically approach content, different kinds of content designs that we've been doing recently, applying what we're going to see, which is the scary offer approach and formula, and applying that specifically to the content that you're generating, allowing you to connect with your client, mirror their own end results and language back to them, and authentically create relationships and conversations going forward. Now, if you're ready to finally stop spinning your tires and scale to stable multiple six figures, guys, then this is where you need to be. Mr. Who, are you able to take over the waiting room stuff? Because I can't click on that. Yeah, make me the host. Let's go here. There you go. Now, today, we guys, we don't have enough time to show you how to really create the full seven-figure agency or coaching business. That takes a lot of pieces to the puzzle. Inside the GSD program, we focus on three main things. That's traffic, as in how to find and attract your clients or perfect customer and fill your calendar with those people with sales calls. How to actually make sales once you have them and how to create systems and foundational structural pieces to be able to build that business up and not collapse in under your own weight as you do it. All right, there's a lot of issues that come with scaling that if you're not prepared for, you can easily see one of those people who go on that roller coaster where they go 10, 50, 100K months and then crash right back down to zero because they burned out, because they stretched themselves too thin, because they didn't have SOPs, hiring processes and automation in place to be able to truly succeed with what they were attempting to accomplish. Today, we're looking at one piece of the puzzle, all right? We're looking right in here at offer and organic. We're gonna be digging in hard on this so that a lot of you guys who are focused on sales can actually have people to sell to, all right? We need to be able to have a calendar full of people. That consistency, that predictability of a pipeline, that's what allows you to build and take those first steps of a, as a company. You can be the best person ever at ads, if you don't have anybody to do the ads for, or you don't know how to actually track people, you're never going to succeed. You could be the best coach, right, for successful women ever. But if you don't know how to put yourself in front of successful women, you can't actually succeed, right? And so today we need to understand how are we going to be able to start that momentum? How are we going to be able to attract the right people? And that's what we're digging into, the first piece of the puzzle. Now, guys, if you don't build the right foundation, you're always going to be losing clients just as fast as you get them. 
You'll never grow past your ceiling. You'll never be confident in where your next client is coming from. You'll be stuck and you'll eventually burn out. And I always hover in on this guys, because look, burnout is that, that bad word that a lot of people try and don't hide from you guys. I just switched back over to you. I'm going to do this every now and then if I see cameras going off while I'm on the presentation, <laughs> but what we're doing guys is we're getting stuck, right? We're on the roller coaster. Now drop me in one in the chat if this sounds familiar, if you've been this person, right? Every new client you get, you feel like you're on top of the world. I'm the man. I just did that shit. I'll never lose again. I got it. Now my income is stable. I finally broke that. And every time you lose a client, it's the end of the world. Like, shit, do I got to go get a job? Do I got to rewrite my resume? Like, where the hell am I going to be able to, to get that back? Right? Drop me one in the chat. Now, guys, I want you to take a second and look at all those ones in the chat. Right. I want you to really just see, like for every one of you guys that dropped the one in the chat, I want you to look around and see how many other people just did the same thing, right? Yeah, we're trying to fix that today, but I'm also trying to make you guys understand this is part of the journey, okay? A lot of other people are in that same boat, and that's why you want to have a network of support. That's why you want to have other people around you. Something like this feels a lot better when you know that that's normal, right? When you know that that's okay. And so we want to maintain that. All right. Now, the reason you're ending up in this situation is because you don't have a predictable pipeline. When I lose a client, but I know that I can go get another one from one of my buckets that I'm consistently filling up, then I don't have to worry about that so much. In fact, it allows me to do something that I tell people in our program all the time. Don't chase FU money, create an FU business. Right. Because when I have a predictable pipeline, not only do I get off the roller coaster, but now when a client is taking more energy than it would take to replace that client because I have that predictable pipeline. I can say F you, like screw you. I can fire the client. I can go replace you now. I can replace you with one or two more of you who are going to be better. And that's what we want to create, that predictability, that F you business that allows you to truly succeed and get off that roller coaster. Guys, that makes sense. Give me a thumbs up if you're on camera or a one in the chat. Go ahead. That makes sense. Good. Yeah, we don't want to have the pit in the stomach going to bed and not knowing where that next customer is coming from. And that's why we like to build like things into an assembly line fashion, just so it's literally as predictable as it could possibly be. Just like a Henry Ford power plant, it goes from step one, two, three, and so on and so forth. So it's literally just plug and play. And that's really what a business should be doing in a business that scales. That's what it does. And if you've listened to Shark Tank or The Profit or anybody, sales is the lifeblood of every business. Otherwise, we just have a very expensive hobby. So we want to change that for you guys. So real quick, we're going to dive into all this stuff, this content that Cody and I have laid out for you. But one in the chat, if you guys are ready to take this on, you guys can handle more sales calls and your calendar is not as packed as you want it to be. One in the chat, and then we're going to rock and roll through this. Very good. We got Perfect. what, 72 people in here? You are on this call because you need that shit. So there should be 72 ones in the chat right now as we go through this. Cool, guys. And if this sounds familiar, you know, you're in the right place. Like this is the first piece of the puzzle, right? This is the first piece of that journey. And what I always tell people inside the GSD program, like when they first get into it, we have so much stuff, right? What we do is we create the glove that fits the hand. We create a personalized approach to the way that we coach and we mentor and we build these things out. And when I say the first piece of the puzzle, that doesn't mean you're missing a whole bunch of other shit that you need to do. That means these are literally the first steps that you should take in order to achieve your eventual success. This is the first gap that you need to fill, creating a predictable pipeline. And that starts with a strong offer and an organic traffic method to start to test and amplify that out. All right, guys, let's keep going. So whoa, where do we go? When our students implement their strategies, guys, they really are able to absolutely crush it. You've seen a few of these testimonials um, from the people themselves inside that first little thing. We're going to show a couple more of these stories as we go, because it's not just about what we've done, right? I don't like to tell the story about what me and Rahul have accomplished. And it's been a lot. Rahul's been doing this 14 years. I've been doing it 10. We've been doing this a long time. But the most important piece comes when you can say that what you've taught other people, they've been able to use and have success themselves. And so a lot of what we do in these presentations is we tell these stories through the eyes of some of our students purposefully, 
right? Not to brag about all the cool shit we've done, but to show you that other people have taken these strategies and they've accomplished great things as well so that you know full well that you can do it too. Now, before we dive into the, the meat and potatoes, we'd like to do a little visualization exercise, okay? This helps us really, really get into the mode and get our goals rocking and rolling. Can you drop me a one in the chat if you're no, down? No, 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 no. Drop the word clear in the chat. The word clear in the chat. We're going to get our minds right. We're going to get prepared just like Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, whoever your favorite athlete or musician or whatever it is, how they prepare for the day is how they're going to play the day. So we're just going to be prepared for this because we're going to give you a lot of information here. And we want to make sure that your mind's right, your vision's right, your goals are right. So we want to get reframed, right? If you guys are down for this, we got clear. I want to see some more clears in the chat from everybody. If you're driving, just put a one or do nothing. We'll get it. <laughs> but I want to make sure that you guys are down for this. This is something we do every single month in the inner circle of the GSD, our team like our internal team, it's because each individual has their own goal. Then we have our team goal that builds the culture that guilt builds our roadmap. So we always want to be on the same page, even if it's just you. So you have to get your own mind right. If you're all by yourself in your own home, you're, you can't go out, Starbucks is closed, Bank of America is closed, and you got to be at home, right? So let's kind of take a little bit of, of, a, of time here. This is going to take about five minutes. And this goal here is to get you into peak state, that peak performance, like Tony Robbins talked talks about this a lot about getting your mind right because then you're confident because if your mind tells you you're tired you'll start yawning if your mind tells you you're not tired then you'll never be you won't even want to go to bed you'll be so excited because you're so clear so i want to get you guys into that state of mind so i'm going to ask that all you guys participate we're going to get a pen and paper handy but we're going to start off just closing our eyes so everybody i want everybody's eyes closed okay nobody's eyes open don't look at each other just follow my voice i'll walk you through this process we're going to start right now so just close your eyes as i'm starting to talk right now so while we go through this i want you to be present it'll be just a few more minutes like i mentioned and i'll tell you exactly when to open them we're going to start off with three or sorry, we're going to go with five big inhales and five big exhales. And I want you guys to exaggerate the hell out of this. Like when you breathe in and then hold it right at the top and then just let a big breath out. So we're going to just go all counted out and you'll follow along with me. And we're going to start right now. Okay. We're going to go with our first deep breath in through the nose and then everything just exhaled, exaggerate it through your mouth. Okay. Ready? Go. Breath number one. Hold it at the top. Exhale through the mouth. Number two, inhale. Hold it. Keep holding it. Exhale. Number three, inhale. Keep holding. Hold this one. Let it go. Here comes number four. Inhale. Keep holding it. And then exhale. Okay, on this last one, I want you to take a big, huge inhale, and I want you to hold it as long as you can. And I want you to put your left hand on your chest and your right hand right on your stomach. Hold it in as long as you can, and then just a big, huge exhale. So ready? Let's go. Just keep holding it as long as you can. Okay, keep your eyes closed, guys. Now, I want you guys to start thinking about where you're going to be in 12 months from right now. Now, imagine yourself. You've reached all of your goals that you set out for yourself, your personal goals, your financial goals. You're starting to work with just dream clients, not those tire kickers. Like your business is literally operating at its peak. You have great relationships personally, your, your family, your significant others, your colleagues, your coworkers. Even annoying relatives or pesky clients can't even phase you at this stage. Just think about how that personally feels right now. Now, I want you guys to imagine like how much money have you created for yourself, your personal wealth, whether it's in your bank account. Like how grateful are you to be at the top of your goals at this moment, that 12-month you? Now, take a look back in time, like 12 months ago, even before, when it goes back to the high school, even childhood, like, who are the people that supported you all along the way? It's your family, your friends, your teachers, your mentors, like, who got you there? Like, what would you be saying to them right now? Now, are you driving another vehicle? Are you driving a Benz? Are you driving a Camry? Do you not even care about a car? 
Have you upgraded your home? Have you taken that long awaited vacation where you can just go on vacation without even checking your phone for work? It's your dream vacation. You work so hard for it. You put all the energy in to enjoy what your the, the rewards. Like, how would you actually reward yourself? Like, what would you do for yourself? Now, imagine you're just walking right now and you see that 12 month you just ahead of you. You're starting to jog up to him or her. You're getting a little bit close. What does that person look like to you? You're staring right in front of them. What are they wearing? What's their swagger like? Now let's take a peek inside your business. But this time you've solved all of your bottlenecks. You just walk into your company. Everything's churning exactly the way you want it, when you wanted it to. Your marketing's working. Your leads are all qualified. Your zaps are functioning. The technology is not breaking. Everything just works the way you want it to. Your sales are on point. It's almost like every conversation is just magical. It's the perfect client. You finally have everything you wanted and you feel like Superman or Superwoman, but there's no kryptonite for you. What does that really feel like if you no longer had those roadblocks stopping you from your goals? I just focus. You're seeing this person right in front of you. That you that has no limit to your potential, no fear to take action, that you just get shit done. Now, real quick, you're walking up, they're right in front of you. Now, step into that body. Let's take that energy with us. Now, before you open your eyes, I want you guys to do a little bit of a a cult-like chant, okay? It's going to be a little awkward, but it's going to get us a little uncomfortable, but it's going to be so comfortable once we consume the rest of the knowledge. I want you guys to all come off mute for me. Everybody come off mute. So open your eyes for a minute and just come off mute. Everybody's going to participate. And we're going to try to do a coordinated chant together, okay? Now, this is all Tony Robbins stuff. This is like literally probably the most scared time I've ever had personally in my life is to just yell stuff in front of a bunch of fucking strangers. But something unleashes us where the uncomfortable becomes common. So we're just going to do, I'm going to put it in the chat. It's my time. I will not be denied. Okay. We're just going to do two lines only. There's the whole chant behind it. If you guys have ever been to a Tony Robbins thing. So on three, we're going to say it's my time. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. It's, it's my, my time. time. Now on three, we're going to say, I will not be denied. On three, one, I two, three. I will, I will not, not be denied. denied. We're going to say them both together. We're going to go, it's my time. I will not be denied. All right. So on three, I don't care if we're way off, but we're going to say it all together. Everybody. Now this time we're going to say it louder. I, and if there's people at the co-working space or at Starbucks or whatever, even better, have them look at you. I want them to look at you like you're crazy. You're that crazy person, okay? So on three, we're going to go loud, all right? Really loud. I don't care if it's at the top of your fucking lungs or you're just as loud <laughs> as you can make it, all right? On three, we're going to stay both lines together. One, two, three. It's my, my time. Beautiful. One more time together. One, two, three. It's my it's time. My time. Oh, 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 all right. Awesome. All right. Now I want to take you guys through one more quick exercise and we're going to make this shit real. All right. So if there's children in the background, I apologize. We're only going to say the word shit. So they're going to learn that today. Okay. So if you guys can mute out really quickly, um, that'd be awesome. So we don't have any overlap. Um, so I want to get a piece of paper out and I want you guys to turn it all ver uh, sorry, horizontal. So this way, horizontal. Okay. <clears throat> now on the top left, I want you to start off with the date. What's today's date? Today is 1-25-2022. Okay. Now, right underneath that, I want you to write a number. I want you to write down, where are you now in your business? Revenue-wise, that could be zero. It could be a thousand. It could be 50,000. Write down the number you're at because you're not going to be sharing this with anybody you don't want to. This is all for yourself. We're going to do some goal setting. This is going to become important for you. So you can just face what you need to do to get to where you want to go. So if you wrote down the number, let's just say 10K, all the way on the right side, leave a lot of space all the way to the right. Where do you want to be for the 12 month of you? Where do you need to be numbers wise? And this number becomes important because it, ex it actually executes our freedom, our hiring, our marketing budgets. So we're going to be focusing on the numbers. Okay. Now, 
in between those numbers, there's a difference. What is that difference? I want you to write this big. So this is going to be a larger font size right in the middle. So if you're at 10,000 and you want to be at 100,000 in one year, all accomplishable, all totally doable. Now you have a $90,000 per month delta that you're trying to solve for. Okay. Now below that, now we know our monthly number, our monthly figures. What's the total number? So if you wrote down 90,000 in the middle, I need you to times that by 12. So what is that annual run rate number that we're actually looking for? Okay. Now circle both of those numbers for me. Circle them a couple times. So it looks like a bullseye right in the middle of the page. Okay. Now on the left side of the page, I just want you to write down one, two, and three right on top of each other. One, two, and three. Now I want you to write down your top three distractions. What are the three things that are distracting you from getting you what you want? Is it the friends you hang out with? Is it you get stuck on TikTok too long? What are those distractions? Going out too much, parting too much? Yeah, Catherine, it's m monthly recurring revenue, yes. <clears throat> and then one in the chat when you guys are done with those three things, because these are three important things for us consciously aware of what could be denying our goals that we want to eliminate. Okay, let's see some more ones in there. I'll give you guys another 30 seconds or so, but just participate. Throw one in the chat when you're done. We're almost done with this exercise. Okay, cool. And then on the right side, what are three things that we need in our business right now that we know we need that if solved will help us get to that next level? We can do anything, more leads, content, help. What are the three things? It could be a key hire. It could be looking at your numbers more clearly on a regular basis. It could be help getting motivated to do those cold calls, those cold emails. It could be somebody that's just the tech person that can help set up tech. What are three of the most important things that you know based off the things you've already tried that if mastered can help you get to that goal? And when you're done, I want you guys to put a two in the chat. All right, we got a lot of twos in there. Okay, cool. Now, the last thing I want you to do is put your, give yourself a deadline because when we have goals, we have to give ourselves time frames too. Like what, what's the date? I want you to put at the bottom in the center, put a date of when do you want to solve these by? When do you want to eliminate the distractions? When do you want to have these solutions? When do you want to actually be on a pathway to take action so that you can get to these numbers, these goals? Because whatever you wrote down is your own personal benefit, your own goal. You get to choose it. It's not in comparison to somebody else. Comparison will kill you. But when you have your own goals, it'll only help you because we need everybody's unique. They need their own unique needs. So put a date so we can attach it. And when you have the date there, are three in the chat. Text box. Cool. We got a lot of threes. We got Billionaire Queen. We got Zeke. We got John. Another John. Ronald. Matt. Blaine. Josh. Ahmed. Shante. Justin. Kevin. Jacob, Kenneth. Okay, cool. Timothy. Awesome. All right. Last bit before we move on, I want you guys to sign it. This is your signature. This is your commitment. This is that we're going to finally take that action. Okay. 
right? Who's ready to move on? Who's ready to dive into this stuff? Ready to rock? Let's say rock. I like I like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Let's go with rock. Before we move on to there's if you guys are hearing this, there's 11 of you out on Facebook land that don't want free prizes. So I've just dropped the Zoom link again. Join us on the Zoom. I'd hate for you guys to be on this whole thing and not be eligible to get your uh, your free prizes, your one on ones with Rahul um, and some master classes. So if you're hearing this, there's 11 of you on Facebook land. Join us. I just dropped the Zoom. We want to we want to see you guys in here. Very cool. Yeah. Drop that Zoom. Hop on Zoom. Don't don't hide. Uh, you can always jump on even if you're driving. If it's convenient for you to touch that button, hop on here. All right. Who liked that? Who's got some picture perfect clarity on some goals and they're ready to start trying to hit them? Huh? Drop me some ones in the chat. Come back on camera because I see a bunch of people got afraid of us in the last little bit. Ones, 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 ones. Everybody should be feeling it right now. Let's dive into this, guys. Let's start going into some shit, get some shit rolling. Before we do, real, real quick, I'm going to quickly introduce, first, Rahul can introduce himself, and then I'll go through myself, and then we will rock this out. Yeah, so I, I kind of feel like I'm a dinosaur at this age. I've been doing this for about 18 years, since 2004. The first time I started doing what I was doing, I honestly had no clue. I never knew how to fulfill the shit I sold. Um, one lady asked, can I do a banner ad? And no clue what it was, but it changed the dynamic of my business today, where I just said, yes, figured it out. I found an offer. I had one product, one service, one focus. It was very easy to turn it into a product line productized offer. And it was all off one very simple thing that I didn't know how to do. So I did everything before I was even ready. It eventually led to me closing realtor.com, the number one website in the world for real estate, which turned into a $7 million contract. And that really put us on the map on learning how to create a systematized offer. So I started the agency in 04. We've won like number one agency in Los Angeles and ranked at number 402 worldwide by Clutch. Um, since then, we've worked with thousands of customers, both local, international, public, private, and now we've started the, the seven-figure GSD group for entrepreneurs just like you guys that are trying to replicate what we've done. So we do it in step-by-step -step fashion. We've won a handful of those two CC, two Comic Club awards, and we've made several million dollars for our agency. But more importantly than the money in itself, it's easy to say once you have some cash flow, but it's really the lifestyle because at first when you're stuck in this rat race or it feels that way sometimes it feels like a fucking trap but then the reality is once you have the cash flow it opens up so much freedom so much options where you can actually take your wealth invest it into other people as well as invest it into other things that can make you more money so ultimately think about how you're growing this business it's eventually going to be your own bank you're really your own banking system when you're when you run your own business the more money you put in the more you should be getting out if you're not getting more than you're putting in, then something's wrong and that's where you need to fix it. So I always talk about the entrepreneur is truly the real banking system because we are the reason why so many people make so much money and how small businesses run America. It's all because of you guys, because you guys learn the skills to be able to get people where they want to go. And my name is Cody Getchell, founded my successful marketing agency back in 2012, so about 10 years ago. I handled millions in ad spend, successful marketing campaigns for some of the biggest names around, some of whom you guys got to see in the preemptive countdown timer. We do have a collection of those testimonials for the good work that we've done. Co-founder of this program, Two Comma Club winner, owner of multiple seven-figure businesses. All of this stuff, guys, in both here and here is just to tell you, you know, We've done this. We're a few steps ahead, and that's why we're able to teach you guys it. But on top of all of that, right, I always like to focus in on not only who we are, but who the people are that we've helped along the way, because it matters just as much that we've been able to translate this into information that people can apply, take action, and succeed. So now that that's out of the way, guys, let's dive into this. How we get clients without having to pay any money in ads or using any kind of fancy tech, all right? Today, we're gonna really show you a full list of posts that generate engagement and leads. We're gonna show you the Perfect Stranger 2.0 process for this, which is taking a formulaic approach, which I'm gonna go through on the scary offer, and also applying it to content, creating what we call scary content that can actually get people to really wanna talk to you. Examples of real conversations, so you can see how it actually works. How to get started and actually build up your target audience. So even if you don't have a single person in your audience. You're starting from scratch. There's nobody there. You're just talking to yourself. That's okay. We're going to show you how to build that up. 
how to get momentum, how to start with the first couple of pushes of the flywheel, where to go to create a network of ideal clients, and how to initiate those conversations with a permission-based approach, how to authentically attract them so that <clears throat> we're not spamming people all day or cold DMing people all day. We're creating a network, we're creating a platform where it's okay for us to move into an intimate area, which is messenger and communicate with people in order to bring them across the line, develop a relationship and actually make sales. The best part is, like I said, you don't need a big following. You don't need fancy tech. You don't need a course on ads and Google ads. All you actually need is a desire to be great, a desire to transform your business, a cell phone or a laptop and be ready to actually implement what we're going through today. So the seven step perfect stranger method. Give me a perfect stranger in the comments, guys. And everybody's still awake. It's been, I think, like four minutes since anybody's interacted and it's getting me a little edgy. So come on, guys, drop me a perfect stranger in the chat. Tell me you're still awake. Tell me you're ready to rock this shit out. PS is a cop out. Perfect stranger is a good one. 2.0 is good. So the seven step method, guys, here updated for your new found stuff is number one, identify your niche and create your scary offer from the information you get from that. All right, we run into a lot of people who are like, ah, I'm trying to talk to everybody. I wanna work with small businesses. I wanna work with everyone. But when you try to talk to everybody, somebody answer the rest of this cliche for me. What happens when you try to talk to everybody? Drop me in the chat, what happens? What's the next part of this line? I shouldn't even have to finish it. You should have all heard it a million times. You talk to no one, Anybody. exactly, exactly, right? And so what that really means, okay, is you're not able to find language that connects with your end customer. That's what that cliche means, all right? You're using your own internal language, things that are vanity metrics. You're saying words like leads and traffic and SEO and Facebook ads and all the shit that you're proud of and that you know, but that has absolutely no effect on an end customer. Right, you're not using language that they describe their end results with. When you can find a niche and you're now talking to people, you can learn how they describe their own end results in their own words, and you can mirror that language back to them in your marketing and in your sales, and therefore find a connecting point and understand you know, now you're the doctor, now you can prescribe a solution that actually matches the injury that they have, the bottleneck that they've got, the gap they need to fill, all right? You can take it and you can create a truly scary offer. Two, you can set up a profile funnel to maximize your results. So you're not just a generic Facebook person anymore. You're a Facebook person who's actually telling people what you do using language that truly attracts the people you want to attract. Three, you're gonna join groups that have your ideal customers and you're going to start to build your audience from it. You're going to ethically steal other people's audiences. You're going to ethically tap into other people's audiences. All right. You're going to add new friends. You're going to post scary strategic content on your profile that adds value. All right. And we're going to show you the process for this, the formula for this today. And you're going to engage people that express interest on messenger, authentically attract them, be able to use permission-based, not spam-based marketing and start conversations that will eventually turn into sales and close more deals. Now, guys, when our students take action and implement this shit, they get all kinds of results. Excuse my language. I do speak French from time to time. I'm stuck up here in Canada. You're going to hear words like shit and maybe some other stuff. It's in our name of our program. I'm sure you would have figured it out before you got here, but apologies in advance. So guys, we're going to start this out with the scary offer method, all right? Step one is a big one, all right? Because it not only relates to what we're going to put all over your profiles and your funnels, but it also relates to how we're going to build the scary content later on. So 90% of your campaigns, guys, 90% of pretty much everything you do comes down to the strength of your offer. But for some odd reason, for some odd reason, what we do is we spend 90% of our time on everything else, right? Drop me a one in the chat if this, if this sounds familiar. You spend all of your time trying to write that perfect piece of copy, trying to make that perfect funnel. You know, Russell told you it was you were one funnel away, so you've just been just hammering, hammering on that funnel forever. Oh, man, if I could just figure out that headline, if I could just shoot that video, maybe green will work better than a red button. That's what's tripping me up. It's that green button. No, it's the offer. 
So if you look at all these ones, again, guys, I always say this so you can have solidarity. Look at all the people making those same mistakes, dropping those ones in the chat. It's a common problem, right? Now, what happens is you write that copy, you take a month, you build that perfect funnel, you write that long story post, you create, go out, find a mountain backdrop or a lake backdrop, you take that perfect picture, you're like, yeah, I got this. And you put that online and then nobody gives a shit. What happens now? Now you're stuck. You're going to go spend another month trying to build another perfect copy, another perfect funnel, do it all over again? No. That's why what you need to do is create an offer and test those in a simplistic way until you find something that resonates. If you come up with a strong, scary offer, you'll be able to do whatever you want. It will suddenly be 10 times as successful. I promise you that. Now, it starts with identifying your niche. The perfect niche, guys, consists of a few things, an industry in which you can actually provide results, an industry which can pay good fees, and a group of people you enjoy working with. In fact, I'm going to bring this over here. We're going to do a little whiteboard experiment that I do on a lot of my onboarding calls for people, okay? There's four main pieces to this. One, can you get them results? Two, can they pay high ticket prices and actually sustain your management fee for a long period of time? Three, can you find them online? And then four, all right, and this is neglected by a lot of people. Do I even like these people? Okay, a lot of people don't even think about this last part. They go through this, this, they're like, mm, yeah, I see them, cool, let's go with it. And then they wake up one day, they roll out of bed, and all of a sudden, all they can think to themselves is, man, I got to talk to all these assholes again. And it drains their energy right? It's doing the opposite of what you want it to do. You can't be motivated and energized to go kick ass and make the day work if you don't like the people you're talking to. And it takes work. It takes effort. It takes motivation. It takes the opposite of being drained to be able to get to that next level, to work a little bit harder, to put in that time. And that's what we need. And that's why this part right here is probably one of the most important things is to make sure that you actually like the people you're picking with because you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. The perfect synergy between these three things, and you've got the first piece to your foundation, all right? Proven results, high ticket business, energizes you. You can find the perfect client. These are the people you want to work with. These are the people you enjoy waking up to every day. And once you know that, once you know your market, you now need to learn their language. Okay, so most marketers say the exact same thing. Love the spelling here. Good thing I wrote these so nice and, nice and on point. Yes, guys? I generate client opportunities through Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO, I increase traffic, I generate leads, right? How many of you say that when people ask you what you do? Drop a one in the chat if that's your answer to people when they ask you what you do, that you generate leads or you use Facebook ads to generate client opportunities or you have SEO practices and increase traffic or you will help them improve their online presence. Who's using this generic kind of language on there? Well, one also like, do you, are you not clear on what you do? Because a lot of people have told me what they do and I don't understand what the fuck they do. <laughs> so you got to be clear yourself. So don't be generic, be precise. And the rule of thumb goes back to what Albert Einstein, if you can tell a 10 year old what it is you do and that 10 year old can explain it to another 10 year old and understand it, then you know you have a clear refined marketing statement. So that if you want to write this down, actually, I'm going to tell you guys to write this down. And in the chat, I want to take a pause. Heart, let's smash some hearts. Whoever's watching live, flip over to Facebook, some hearts. And I want you to do RMS. This is your refined marketing statement. So this is going to be part of prize number, third place prize. We're going to go back to this. I'm telling you how to win this, okay? So it's going to be based on engagement, hearts, likes, comments, everything. And as you hear something, share it in the chat in both Facebook and on Zoom so other people are paying attention and they can also extract some of this knowledge that you're sharing as you're learning because everybody learns at a different pace. But the refined marketing statement is so fucking clear. It has to be so clear that you can actually explain it to somebody, especially when you come across somebody who can pay you because confused people cannot buy from you. If they don't know what you do, chances are you may be confused yourself because the last thing we want to do is saying, hey, I do Facebook ads. Hey, can you run my STO? Yeah, I can do that. Can you do my GMB? Yeah, no problem. Uh, well, what does it cost? Well, uh, well, what do you need? Like, it sounds a little janky, right? If that sounds familiar, let's get extremely clear on how we help people because we need to be good at one thing really and do really well at it because there's definitely a blue ocean out there for all of you guys. 
You don't have to be everything to everybody. That's why it's so important to know what you do yourself. Don't do that shit where you can take on a project and then you go on Fiverr and find a person to figure things out that you've never sold before. That's a real clear way to never have a sustainable business. Love it. So guys, after what he just said, I put an example in there of an RMS statement, right? I help X, as in your perfect client, accomplish X desired end result in their own words without having to do X, pain point. So I said, for this one specifically, guys, I help agencies add 10K MRR per month without spending a dime on ads. So just to give you an example of how that works, how you can put that together. It's something that you should know. It's something you should be able to spit out pretty easily. And what's wrong with what we're saying up here, guys, is all these people, all you guys saying that that's what you use. And I love it. Somebody said, you know, I'm willing to admit it. I love that. And there's a lot more of you guys that put the ones in the chat. I get that. And then what's wrong with that is your average person can't possibly connect with what you're saying. You're using jargon, right? Maybe somebody thinks you sound smart, but look, guys, about 10 years ago, this was a good thing you could say. Nowadays, every other person is saying the same shit to them. We have to find language that truly connects with our prospects, that truly gets them to want to work with us. All right. So what we need to do is do some research, pay for an hour of somebody's time, take someone out to a research lunch, create a survey to give to some of your friends. You work with realtors, you know, go talk to some realtors. There's only 5 billion of them. You work with dentists, go message a few of them, offer them something, pay them if you have to, but get a group of people to tell you in their language what they want, what their desired end results are and what their pain points are. You'll be amazed at what kind of language you can pull from these kind of things that you can now use in your marketing and get yourself to stand above the competition. Get yourself to understand how to say things that your competition aren't so that you can stand out in a red ocean. What we really want, biggest pain points, biggest desires, what they've already tried, industry lingo and industry goals. All right. These three are pretty self-described, right? Pain points, desires, what they've tried, because we want to tell them we do it without this, right? They've tried something and it's failed over and over again. We want to tell them we're going to do it for you without you having to do that again. Industry lingo means, are you going to talk about clients, ROAS, customers, leads, or are you going to talk about roofs, installations, patients, listings, closings, applications, the words that they use in their industry to describe what they want, the end result that they actually want. All right. Now, when our students... Specifically, a couple of them, Cam and Casey, came to us. They started to understand these principles. They're starting to build the path to their dream business. So they started to understand, I got to I gotta use the language. I got to find out what to do. And it started to open up the world to them. It started to transform their lives. And it started to be able to show them that they really wanted to get to that next level, how to start that path. Now that they knew what to say, right, they learned the words that they need to use to mirror in their marketing, to push that through they needed to restructure their first, their main offer, all right? So before you even get to the scary offer, guys, the most common pitfall young agencies do or young coaches do is to do custom work, all right? The custom work is really a disease because it's something that at the beginning of our relationships with our clients, with our students, whatever we might be doing, whether that be coaching or whether that be agencies, we think that we're doing ourselves a high. I caught a few of you people going off camera again. I told you I'm going to go back and forth between the presentation and coming back over here and look at this. Everyone's hiding again. Come on, people, jump back on. What I'm trying to say, guys, here is when we first start doing this kind of stuff, no matter which part of that business you're in, we think by saying yes all the time, by being the yes man, like, oh, you do Google ads too? Yes. Do you do one on one coaching days when I need it? Yes. Right. We think we're doing ourselves a, a favor. We think our clients and our students, they're going to like us more. They're going to stay with us longer because we're giving them more of ourselves. We're helping them. We're going outside of what's called the scope of work of what we said we were going to do. But what actually happens is we get the opposite effect of that. What's actually happening is we are devaluing ourselves because now they're viewing that as part of what they're paying for. They don't see it as you're going above and beyond. They think that they're paying for this and that's part of what that is. That's what happens. And now you're stretching yourself out really, really thin. And there's no possible way that you're going to be able to delegate this off. You're not going to be able to give that role to an eventual employee so that you can handle more clients, so that you can scale up your business. And when you try to do it, and it's a big pitfall of a lot of people in both coaching and agencies, they try to hand it off and they expect that employee to be them. 
They expect them to be able to do all that shit the same level of quality as you can do. And that's going to fail. That's where we're talking about collapsing in under our own weight. And so the first thing we need to do is create what we call a productized offer. Get away from the custom work. Never be the yes man. All right, we need a repeatable offer that contains the same proven asset for every single client. A productized offer really needs to contain three key things. Proven results in multiple markets, pre-made assets that are ready to go, and an obvious end result for the client. If we can have these three things, we can delegate it off. We can repeat it. We can hand that process to one guy who can be in charge of a group of clients or students on one call or and do the same thing over and over again as we build up and we scale. If we do it right, you can delegate it. And most importantly, you can count on the quality of the end result. So it's really important here that we have this in place so that we can make sure that we're giving the same quality to A as we are to C, no matter if I'm in charge of this or the employee is in charge of that. The end result that we're promising has to be able to be maintained. And the only way to do that is to use these types of packages and create what we call a productized offer through this process. Is this kind of making sense, guys? Tell me a one in the chat if this is making sense and a two in the chat if what you think right now is not a scalable product and you need to kind of transition this to a productized offer using this process. All right, we're getting some ones, we're getting some twos. Good, guys. Good. Yeah, and real quick before you go on, Cody, uh, like once you productize all this stuff and you've got these systems in place, like this is what a lot of people skip and they start going and going and trying to bulldog or bulldoze for that next deal. But the beautiful part about this is this is when you can start, like Cody mentioned, build that team, get those VAs, get those ISAs, because all of this pro like perfect stranger method, the productized offer, this can be delegated very easily. And then it becomes scalable because then you become a traffic and sales floor. And that's really where we want to get everybody to is having that as the system. We're always trying to pump in traffic and make more sales. Then we have the deliverables always ready because then you can train people on your products, your services, your price points, your follow-up. It all becomes easier when we start with this productized offer, which helps lead into the scary offer because then one thing changes with you, your, your physiology of your state of mind, your confidence, because I talk to hundreds of people every month. And like one of the things that's holding them back is confidence. If I knew it would work, I'd be more confident on the phone to sell it. And it's like, well, let's just productize it. This is the most important part. Be a master of this. Pay, pay attention to this. Like put in a lot of work on this because when you put in the hard work, you put in the time, I promise you everything gets a lot easier. That, that number that you wrote down on that piece of paper becomes a lot closer than that date you wrote down too. Love it. Now, Rahul already said this in a different way but this principle really does matter, okay? This matters a lot. If you can't explain it simply, you do not know it well enough. So another exercise I do with a lot of students in the beginning is the elevator pitch exercise. So I tell them, you know, if you had an elevator's ride worth the time, like 10 seconds, 15 seconds max to get to the next floor and your perfect client just happened to jump in the elevator with you, could you make an offer to that person that resonates? What would you say? And a lot of them can't. And that's what we got to teach them to be able to refine and do something that's quick hitting that doesn't take long to digest and gets their blood pumping, connects with them, and allows them to move forward, right? Telling people you run Facebook ads that gets them traffic and leads sounds great to you, but it doesn't connect with them. But that using the language you've now learned to express the productized service you've now created through the lens of an end result, you understand that's the scary offer. It's a big can't say no promise anchored by end results. The easier to understand that promise, the easier it is to fill your calendar and close deals, creates risk reversal. And if it scares you to make it, then it scares your competition too. And that's why it's called the scary offer. I want you to almost be afraid to say it out loud. I want you to be scared to hit that publish button when you put it on there, because that's when it's going to stretch you to be better. And that's when you're going to be able to stand out in a red ocean. Now, the formula for this, guys, is a big end result anchored by customer language, adding specificity, and then adding risk reversal. And that creates a front winning scary offer. Which does each part of this mean? The end result and the customer language, we've gone over a lot. Specificity. If you can explain to an individual that you can help them accomplish their goals, faster than the competition can help them accomplish those goals. 
you will win the goal. You will win the sale. And that's what we're trying to do right here. Be specific with our timelines. Be specific with our end results. That allows people to understand it better and it will trigger action far more frequently. Want to have specificity. And risk reversal is making sure that they know, you know, they're going to hit this goal no matter what. So let's look at some examples, all right? So for real estate, 25 booked appointments guaranteed in the next 30 days where we give you your money back. We guarantee a closing or we work with you for free. Patients, 25 guaranteed new patients in the next 30 days or your money back. Gyms, 25 new members in the next 30 days. Contractors, we guarantee 10 jobs every month or we work for free, right? Specificity, 25 and 30. Language, closings, patients, members. Money back guarantees, work for free guarantees, generic general guarantees, where you can put what kind of any kind of stipulations you want in there. Those are the risk reversals. And the big end results are the 25 members, 25 patients, 30 booked appointments, 10 jobs. We're utilizing the formula to create that offer. Now, guys, I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm going to show you guys, once we dive into the content a little bit, I'm going to do a exercise and let's see who we can catch off camera again right now so, yeah we got a few you guys where'd you go let's come back what we're going to do in a second is we are going to create some content all right i'm going to take one person's scary offer and i'm going to create a few different post types and show you guys how easy that can be as a preview of what we're going to be doing tomorrow so why i'm telling you that is because i want you guys to all take this real quick all right and i want you to just make one whatever you can come up with real quick and dump it into the chat. And in a little bit, I'm going to come back. I'm going to pick one at random and I'm going to do the content based on that. So grab this, do it up, put the work in. And you guys know what I've said all along the way. Those who do the work are the ones that are going to get the points towards the prizes. So create your scary offer, dump the scary offer in here and we'll circle back around to this in a second. I'll put two, should I put two minutes on the clock? Put up that you wanted to do the, the video right at this point so when by creating and implement their scary offer cam and casey were able to start attracting and closing their dream clients like this 12 month paid in full 24k contract uh that they did before all right so we're going to cool. put up a quick little video while you guys create the scary offer and then we're going to dive into creating some content and doing that shit next hey Ro. hey we just literally closed a 3K a month deal. So we just wanted to share that with you. Thank you yeah. for believing in us and yeah. holy shit. Yeah, moving that money yesterday with you really helped move us forward in these ways. So thank you for your support. We're so excited to jump in. Let's do this. Yes. So, so just to put some faces to the name, go ahead, Ro. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's just executing, taking action oh. and just being vulnerable. Because one of the biggest fears that we have is what are other people going to receive the information we have yet not posted out there. And it doesn't make sense. It's counterintuitive because we haven't tried yet. We think we've already failed. The whole goal of failing is to do the thing so we know what to do differently. So we want to take as many swings at the bat. I mean, think Gary Vaynerchuk. He has a video that talks about he was talking to himself from 2007 to 2011. And now look where he's at, a 1,500 person agency, one of the biggest agencies out there. But the point being is taking this organic process and putting it into play. And those are the, the results when done well, when getting coached well, when practicing well, getting answers, at being relentlessly curious to get help. That's the outcome of how fast this train could move. That's really how fast this train can move because within 24 hours of Cam and Casey, they not only closed one deal for what about 24K, another deal for 30K, and you just saw a different video for $3,000 per month. And that's after two months of implementing this. So the consistency starts to mount up once you have that scary offer in place, the perfect stranger copy, which we're going to go through in place, and that natural curiosity to always want more. Love it. Now, guys, just preparing for success, there's three pieces to the Perfect Stranger profile engine specifically on Facebook. All right, we got the scary offer, which we just reviewed, and I see a lot of you people going through right now. We got scary content that actually attracts people once they're there on your profile. And we have the profile funnel itself, which puts all these things on it and creates the engine and makes it move. Now, 
what we need to do is create that profile funnel, what the funnel looks like. It needs to clearly explain what you do. The worst, worst thing I see a lot of entrepreneurs do is they just don't tell people what it is that they do. There's nowhere on their whole profile or anything online that says, hey, this is what I do. They might have built a website and they're like, oh, people will end up on that website. Or have a business card that they hand out occasionally at a BNI to all of 10 people. But they don't add the 5,000 friends that they could have on Facebook or the however many people, 5,000 people you could connect with on LinkedIn. And that's what we need to do. Offer a CTA with actual value and be designed to both look good and consistent so you stand out. Everything on the profile should be designed to direct people to whatever your CTA is at that time. Through your optimized profile, you will be able to move all your new friends, Facebook friends to the next stage of your funnel. So whether that's going to be a group, which me and Rahul do occasionally, a chat, an email list, a perfect stranger method masterclass, which is what we've been doing recently, right? You can create based on the event, offer next step of the funnel, push that next step using your Facebook profile. The objective here is to warm up your Facebook friends list so that they're either ready to buy from you using your content or listen more to whatever it is you're going to say next, right? It's the middle of funnel nurturing system. It's where you're gonna incubate strangers to becoming future paying customers. Now, here's an example of what we have going on in the past, a few different things that you've got going on, right? Perfect Stranger Masterclass, get 12 to 20, this kind of stuff that you've all seen. Some of you guys might have even actually done it. And if we click out of this actually, and we just go over here, right? You can see right now, register for the event. It's got the CTA, learn how to do this amazing stuff, click on this button to actually do it, right? We've got different ones in the bio and we've got featured photos and then content that works the whole way through. And so using this, we're able to do stuff like this presentation today. We're able to get the 70 plus people on here to, to listen and do the training. We also fill up our groups this way. In between master classes, we have those profile funnels set up. And by having them set up correctly, right, we can achieve our desired end result. It's not always about being beautiful. It's about having a scary offer on there that moves them to the next step of your funnel, the next step of your process, and to incubate those strangers to turn them into future customers. Now, when our students have these engines built in a predictable way, it starts conversations like Charlie, Denise, Alvin, Adam, all on here using the perfect stranger method to create conversations, to create and move the needle. Now, this starts, guys, with audience building. Okay, so there's an activity list that you can screenshot right now if you're on it. I'm going to hover on it for a bit and go through each part. This is the stuff that's going to fuel the engine. So if the perfect stranger method and the profile funnel is the car, this is the fuel that you have to put in that car to make sure that it actually works. And it's the consistency of doing this every single day that does that creates the momentum that allows you to succeed. It's not often that you're going to turn something on and it's going to work right away. But if you do this every day for a little bit, a couple of weeks, a month, you're going to start to see a lot of conversations, a lot of new people, a lot of new engagement. And that's all going to be able to be structured in a strategic way to convert later on down the road. So what you need to do, guys, you need to add 25 to 50 new Facebook friends in your niche every day. What does that look like? If my niche is real estate, I can go and type in Vancouver, which is where I am, real estate. All right. We're going to hit groups. We're going to find 10, 15, 20 groups of where my dream clients hang out. We're going to get ourselves added to those groups. We're going to click into the groups. All right. And we're going to see that somebody in some point of their lives has trained realtors to do nothing but drop listings inside of random groups for their whole entire lives. And you're going to go to each one. And you're going to add them as a friend, right? Or you can go to the members area and you can add 25 to 50 as a friend. Boom, you're done for the day. And do that consistently. You can start to build up your network. Post in those groups with real value, not spam. Don't start doing CTA crap. That's not going to help. You're going to get kicked out. Don't say DM me to get you a bunch of leads and crap that's going to get you kicked out of the group. Document. You know, we're going to go through some types of content here in a second. And part of it is document, don't create. A great place to document is inside these groups. And what document means is show other people that you're awesome at what you do. Don't say DM me to figure it all out. Just literally say, hey, I just launched this. I just got these awesome results. Anybody have any thoughts on it? And engage yeah. in conversations. 
And this comes to groups, guys. So on your own profiles, you can do the two-step, which we'll show you. But when it comes to other people's groups, we want to be respectful to the group owner because group owners want reliable, good quality shares and content. So they're not going to remove them. They're going to notice you that they, you look like the authority. So you can just add value in a topic you already know. So you can document, not create. A, a good method of not creating, meaning you're documenting it, is something that just happened. I just got off a great call with another real estate agent. Here's what we covered. You can say we went over personal branding and why it's the long game. Here's why. One, two, three. Now you got something you already know intimately. It just happened and all you're documenting and sharing it in somebody else's group. People will like it. People will share it. People will comment. People start adding you as a friend. And right here, when in bullet point number four, comment on three to five posts each day to your niche to add value so people look at you as an authority. In parentheses, with time, it will take some time. But participate because this won't take you more than 15, 20, 30 minutes but the end result just accumulates over time over. Imagine if you do this every single day for 365 days, how many clients you could be having with just this one bullet point this one strategy, just adding value to the people who already want what you offer. Just think about that for a moment. That's how fast this thing can work with consistency. That's why I screenshot this sucker. This is literally a to-do list. If there is anything confusing on what to do, it's not any longer. And that's the purpose of this. So take a picture of it. And when you did take a picture or a screenshot, drop a five in the chat so we know. I'll give you guys just one second. So let's get some fives in the chat. Perfect. Good. I want to hover guys on something he just said. Remember that this is a social platform. All right, so the algorithms and everything else behind the scenes are all designed to create engagement and to keep people on the platform. So that's why these things down here where it says comment on these posts, right? That's gonna be what gets you to actually be seen. So if you add friends in a group and then you comment on a bunch of people's posts and actually add value and other people like it and that engagement is created, when you go and post in that group or when you go and post on your profile, those same people will generally see your stuff. And it's going to lift you up and be able to create more engagement for yourself because that's what Facebook rewards. Love it, guys. See lots of fives. Let's see some more fives in there. Screenshot this sucker and get this going. I'm going to leave it on for five more seconds. Four, three, a two, and a one. Ahmed says, do you have to do all of these things? Some of these tasks you're going to have to wait for, right? Getting interviewed one or two times a month, you're going to have to put in some effort and actually get going. Conducting five to 10 strategy calls every week is going to take a little bit of time to ramp up but this should be your goal, right? Some of this stuff you do right away and you do it every day and it accomplishes the end goals by the end of it. So yeah, we, we, have, we have comprehensive strategies on these things to get like get interviewed, interview other people, templates that we use, how to promote it to get people to show up. I mean, heck, we've been interviewed the CEO of Sony Home Entertainment Group. We've interviewed uh, Jim Cathcart, 21, written 21 books, best-selling, some taught in colleges on relationship selling the acorn principle. So we've in, in, interviewed some of the top people. And for the real estate folks out there, we've interviewed the chief economic analyst for the national association of realtors, all just using this exact method without having any point of reference, without even looking for the Kevin Bacon effect of having six degrees of separation. We just go with a strategy. We implement it. We do it at every single day, and then we get the result, but we're also time blocking. That's one thing we haven't really talked about. And I think that's kind of important is like, if you think about what Cody just showed you, adding 20 to 50 people, how quick do you think you guys could add the ad button? Even if you looked at their profile, how long does it take to click, look at their profile, hit the little back arrow in your mobile app, add them as a friend. And when they accept it, have a templated message on your notes on your phone, you can copy and paste and send it. So we want to get that system going. How many people, how many groups can you jump into with just typing in Vancouver real estate, dentists, podiatrists, chiropractors, gym owners, small businesses, all in your local neighborhood of, if geograph geography is important to you. Posting on your profile. I mean, I call those literally Starbucks moments. I'm waiting in line. Like I would say nine out of 10 of my posts are, are while I'm waiting for my coffee. I order it ahead, sit in a chair, write some shit, post it, and I'm done for that moment. So it's pretty simple once we make it simple for ourselves, once we systematize, once we do it, once we get help. So that's important. So just think of like a process that you can put in place by just following this one screenshot right here. 
We've already kind of gone through this. I'm going to quickly go through it, guys. When joining the groups, search for the ideal customers, monitor the top posts, engage in that stuff, and emulate those posts to build authority. All right. Now, once people had these audiences, this is when we start seeing success. All right. This is when we start seeing you're closing the deals using the perfect stranger method. This is when you're seeing people getting their DMs blown up, closing two new potential clients, closing three new clients, 40 new people in the messenger, right? All of this stuff that works so well is what we want to be able to see to do this and moving forward. So our students put this shit to work. This exact thing that you guys can now take from this and start putting it to work as well. Now that they had some audiences, guys, we had to start giving them value. And that means posting targeted, valuable, scary content that actually engages the audience. Bring them into Messenger using a strategic proven script and then turning that conversation into a sales call. So let's look at what creating scary content means. It means taking the scary offer formula and applying it to your posts. Okay, one more time. It means taking your scary offer formula and applying it to your post types, right? So if you've watched any of our stuff in the past, you might be brand new to this, but we have a few different content types we're going to go through in just a sec. Conversion and teach them how to think content, all right? We're going to be now taking those types of content and applying this formula to create even stronger appeal to our audience. All right, so what that means, scary offer formula one more time, guys, just to repeat, is a big end result, plus customer language, plus specificity, plus risk reversal, all creates the scary offer. Now we want to apply it to one of these post types, but first let's review the different types of stuff. So when we create content, we put it into two sections. All right, one section is conversion content. This is the stuff where we're directly asking on our profile and in our own groups for people to raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested in that thing, whether it be some kind of training, ebook, cheat sheet, value, call, offer, direct, any of that stuff. This is different forms of content that creates that, yes, I want to talk to you, please, let's do it. The other side of this is teaching them how to think content. Now, this is where we're going live. This is where we're creating those longer form story posts. And this is where it comes into place where we say document, don't create. Teach them how to think content specifically. What we're doing is we're trying to take all of these objections that we run into consistently from our people, right? Money scarcity objections. I can't do this until next month objections. I'm putting you up against three or four other people and I've just got to take some time and it's my process objections, right? Who's heard these types of things consistently. I just don't got enough money. I can't afford this because they're viewing it as an expense and they're not viewing it as an investment. Drop me a one in the chat, guys, if you've heard any of these objections consistently and you're running into it and you know, you're kind of struggling with being able to get people past that. I want to see every, I want to see all ones in the chat. Everybody's going to be running into these, right? And so this is what this content can do. All right, so what I mean by this, let's let's take a, let's see if we can't go and see oops, if there is some kind of a teach them how to think post that I've done recently that kind of tells the story. Let's scroll through so I can show you what I mean. I think one that I did recently was a story I like to tell. Where is it? Getting there, getting there. Here, yeah. So this one, I used a metaphor story, not a real story, just a metaphorical story on two racers, okay? Now, what I'm trying to get people to understand, what am I teaching them how to think in this? I'm teaching them that taking action is what they need to do to succeed, that imperfect action is better, that trying to be perfect is stopping them from being great, all right? And how does that relate to, to the sales team and to the people that we book calls with? I'm trying to get them to want to go now. Right. Not next month, not next year. I think this was, yeah, but the beginning of the year. And so I tell the story of two racers, right? Two people who are at the starting line. And the metaphor is because we're at the beginning of the year when I posted this. One guy takes off. The other guy sits on the starting line looking at the racetrack. How do I run this best possible race? What should my first few steps be? Which lane should I take? How fast should I start the race? How fast should I end the race? And while that guy's thinking, the other guy just takes off. Now, the guy who takes off immediately trips, falls on his face, slams his face in the pavement. And the other guy now looks over at him and says, oh, how do I not do that? So I really don't want to fall on my face. So what do I got to do in the beginning of this race not to fall on my face? 
And while he's still thinking about that, the guy who fell on his face, got back up, ran, finished the race, won the race. And so by using this story, right, I'm able to get my point across. I'm able to get people to relate to that. And that's what we need to be able to do with this teach them how to think content. We need to be able to use the power of story, use the power of your own story, a metaphor, your client's story, go live on it, do story posts on it to teach people how to think about your offer, about how to think about the conversations you're going to have in the future. Who can see how that can be a powerful method when you're doing it consistently? Drop me something in the chat. I don't even care what it is. Just speak in the chat. If you can see how this can be a superpower, you can see how doing this consistently time over time, maybe not an individual post, but something that you preach over and over and over again can help. Documenting, not create, means you as people have a hard time sometimes thinking like, what am I supposed to do? How do I create something? Right? We have students that do this really well. I just launched a brand new campaign for real realtors i just got 10 leads in my first day they were all three dollars a lead that's it boom that's document don't create document don't create allows you to start teaching people how to think about you being successful about you being the good person the expert in that thing that they want doing these three things sprinkled in with the conversion based content that's how we get the jab 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 right hook that's how we get the ability and the bucket of value that gets filled up before we make the asking all right, before we get the people to actually take action with us. Then the conversion-based content, we got mission posts. We got two-step posts. We got engagement questions. We got launch posts. And I'm going to show you what all of these kind of look like, individual assets and all that stuff as we go through. The first thing I want to show you is scary content applied to a two-step value post. Some of you guys might see this exact post is pinned to my profile right now. Got about 600. It's got more than this comments, all right? And this is where we've applied the scary offer formula to a post to make people want to have it, right? So we've got a big end result, like 10 new clients. We've got customer language. We're talking about clients to Facebook agencies. Specificity, 10 new clients in three weeks, right? Specificity, exactly how long that took. And then risk reversal, because we're going to give you the process 100% free. Can't get any more risk reversal than that. There is no risk. You don't got to pay me any. All you got to do is commit to actually watching it and take action, right? Can everybody see how this formula applied to this kind of a post and why this post went off? Does it make sense to anybody? Drop me a one in the chat if this is resonating with you on how to create something like this and how that was applied to a simple two-step process to be able to make this happen. Drop me a two in the chat if you've actually seen this post and commented on it and it affected you, and it resonated with you, and you were able to actually start a conversation that way. So I Drop know a three of you but probably bought from this. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this starts our conversations, guys. Like when we're consistent and we develop the authority and we keep going and going, and we build all those to-do lists, like our friends list, our exposure list, our authority, the more consistent we are with what we do, the more we're going to believe it ourselves, but also more importantly, the more our target audience is going to, resonate with this because I used to have an employee that worked for me for five years, maybe six years. And he went off and started a podcasting thing. And I thought, heck, this dude doesn't know shit. This guy doesn't know a damn thing about starting an agency. Next thing you know, I'm doing podcasts. I'm doing this. I'm doing this equipment. Here's my setup. Here's what I got. Kept saying podcast, podcast, podcast. He's the only person I can think of when it comes to podcast marketing. Next thing you know, I'm a guest on the podcast. Ryan Dice became a guest. Um, the the founder of Moz.com became a guest, Rand Fishkin, but it's he spoke it into existence. He stayed committed. He followed the process. He trained. He learned. He had mentors and constantly reinforcing his refined marketing statement. And the end result is working with Netflix and Cheesecake Factory and huge brands by just understanding how to use this two-step, this perfect stranger method. There's a lot of other things like Cody mentioned in the beginning that there's other parts of the business this just gets our traffic up, our exposure up. So we even have these opportunities to take a swing at the bat. So guys, I really want to focus in on this, right? This matters. This is scary content. This is the difference between maybe a post that kind of looks like this, but didn't work and a post that is this and does, right? Applying this formula and doing everything in a specific strategic kind of way makes all the difference. 
All right. Now what I want to do guys is I want to take, I took a, I took a scary offer earlier. I copied one that I saw. All right. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to implement it over here. We're going to do a quick exercise. So now I know there's a bunch of other people that said, please do mine, please do mine, please do mine guys. I'm going to go over this in a second, but tomorrow is an implementation day. So tomorrow, everybody that's there, we're going to go over all of this stuff individually. I'm going to review scary offers with all you rock stars. And on top of that, we're going to actually build some out. We're going to build a promo cycle, content cycle out to be able to do a bunch of shit. And I'll go over all of that in just a second after I'm done this. I so want, this I spill, one, I want to spill the beans a little bit. It'll be 30 I days know, of content. I know. I heard you take It'll be 30 days of content. I want to spill that right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, yeah. All right. So this is from Blaine, I believe. Put this in here. I saw it was around the midway Ooh, point. So Blaine, you're in the house. Where's Blaine? Are you here? Blaine here. Unmute yourself. Yes, I am. All right, perfect. Right. Now, we're going to do two things with this. All right, so this is your scary offer for now. Now, what's your process? What are you doing to accomplish this? Is it paid traffic? Yes. I'm also just starting out, so I may not know all the answers to these questions. Cool. So cool. offer, right, to mm -hmm. ads to follow up, maybe even appointments. What do we got? Patients, good, applications, appointments, right? Now, why we want both of these things? We can take both of these things, right, once we have them, and we can create content pretty easily, guys. And that's what I want to show you guys today. All right, so once we have this, let me just review Scary Offer. I help clinics get 20 high-quality patients per month, or we work for free until you do. Boom. That's good, right? Patience, customer language, specificity, 20 every month. Risk reversal, work for free until we do. Clinics, what kind of clinics are we talking about? Uh, chiropractic clinics. Well, let's, let's say chiros. Let's, let's direct that specifically to you, all right? High quality patients per month or we work for free until we do. This is a good starting point for the scary offer. So we're gonna leave it. Offer ads follow-up process, all right? Now, what I wanna show you guys is how we can create a few posts this way, all right? Mission post. We're going to create a two-step post and we're going to create a question post. All right. So first we get the mission post. Now I am not a fan anymore really of the, it's my mission. Are you with me shit? Because there's too many people doing that. You can blame us if you want, but we've changed it up a little tiny bit. All right. So now what I say actually is a variation on this. So basically I try to word it in a way that says, I've done this before. I'm going to do it for a few more people. Do you want to be one of those people? Very easy to understand template, right? So this is the situation where it's going to be like, I'm going to help five more Kairos add 20 high quality, quality patients in the next 30 days. Want to be one of them? Right? Put a couple of hands down emojis and there you go. Mission post. Second one we got is a two-step post. Two-step post, all right? Now, the two-step post is where the process comes into place. So what you're doing to accomplish this goal, right, is all of these different things. So if you don't want to give away the whole thing, which you can, what you can do is start to give away pieces of it that gets them interested in wanting to know the rest, right? For instance, what did I show you guys at the beginning of this presentation? I like to get meta on this kind of shit. What did I say? This was the first piece of the puzzle, right? I showed you the rest of the puzzle, all the other shit that we would want to teach you to be able to accomplish all those goals. You follow me, Blaine? Blaine, you can unmute yourself and interact on this, my man, so that we, because this is your shit. You follow me on that? Yep. Cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stay cool. There's a bunch of different things on here that we could strip out. So let's say offer, right? So we just, we just uh, closed 20 brand new patients where our Cairo clinic client, client in the last 10 days, right? And you can, whatever results you want to say, what you got, all that kind of stuff, right? Small tweet. Their offer. Let me see what it was. All right. Boom. Are you using offer plus your scary offer to get people's blood pump? Right. Or 
we could do ads, right? Pro part of the process, right? So using simple ad, simple ad campaign. Check attached winky emoji. We just put our newest Cairo client was twenty million patients in one of the toughest markets in the country. Want to see the ad? Right. You see how that works? Mm -hmm. Any questions on that so far, Blaine? No. All right. So what are we doing here? What did I what did I do to create this specifically? Uh tease them a little bit and then ask if they want to know how. Correct. What we're doing with the two-step post always, right, is we're trying to get them to want it. And then that comes when we're applying the scary offer method, right? What are we doing? customer language, specificity, we're giving it away for free. So that's risk reversal, right? All of the elements are in here and we're just using these two things to create. I could go, I could create, using these two things, I can create endless content for two-step posts, all right? And it's not hard, like you're already running the ad. You already probably know what the offer is. You're running successfully on your ad campaigns. You've got the follow-up to be able to give away. Like you've got a hundred pieces of different things that you could do. You could shoot a video on any of it, right? This is all endless, endless, endless supplies of shit you can give away absolutely free. Everybody else as well as Blanche too. Drop me a one in the chat, guys, if this is resonating with you. You can kind of see how easy this can really be by just following this process and laying it all out and understanding the structure, right? The one last thing here is I want to show you over here, Blaine. So what we do here now, what I mean by, oops, let's go back. Question posts, right? Because I actually did one. Let's see, for this one, wherever it is. Right here. So who on my friends list is using Facebook for organic? We have something special for you. Exactly this, right? Because this is an organic marketing training. we got something cool coming up for you. This is what it is. 82 comments. So the question for you could now become, right? Do I have any Kairos? Let me do this. Question post, right? Do I have any chiropractors on my friends list using Facebook to generate your business? I have something special for you. Again, winky emoji face, fire emoji. There you go, right? And so again, by understanding your target market, by understanding what you're doing and understanding your process and your scary offer, boom. And what'd that take, like five minutes? Anybody time me on that? Who's got timer on that? What would that take me to write that, right? I could do the same thing over and over and over and over again. And it's not about right? How fast I can do it because yeah, I've done this a bunch of times. It's about you seeing how easy it can be by following a structure, by following mm -hmm. the process for that. Does that make sense, Blaine? Yeah. Cool, man. Any questions on any of this? Do you see how this can work for you and how easy it is to put together? Yeah, it's really simple. Beautiful. Cool. I'm going to end this screen share in like two, we'll give you guys five seconds. I'm going to screenshot this or whatever you, any of you people want to do. We got five. We have four, we have three. Can I see the top part? Two, what's the top part? It starts with Blaine on the top. That is, that is the top part, yeah. This part right here. Oh, okay, know? okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All good? Good, good, good. Cool. I'm going to stop good. it. Good. All right. Thank you very much, Blaine. Hope that was helpful, my man. So a couple more examples of this, guys. All right, so you can see we got engagement questions like the one I just showed you. Same kind of thing over here. We got launch posts, which are just more direct to the point. Hey, do you want to steal this toolkit? Do you want to go through all this stuff? Bullet point out what your offer is. Mission posts in the old school style. 
my mission to help 15 more digital marketing agencies hit an extra 100K this year. Who is with me? Document, don't create wins, guys. It's great to share wins. I do wins for two different reasons. You'll see on my profile all the time, I'm celebrating GSD students who are kicking ass and taking names. That's for two reasons. One, because we're a family and I like to celebrate one another. I think the rising tide lifts up all boats and I want to be a part of that. Two is to tell everybody else who's not in the GSD that this should work. I teach them beforehand, before we ever get on a call, that this stuff is going to work. And I uh, and then Rahul likes to talk about the Dodgers in the middle. I don't remember why he put that one in there. <laughs> yeah, like I, I mix up content to re-engage people. So I go into like fun stuff that's not just business. It's to also get like uh, just other people to see a different side. So they don't, they know it's not just business alone. The reason this very specific screenshot of the Dodgers, Kirk Gibson right here, it's probably during the world series, I imagine, but this guy below it, Scott Beheller, he actually turned into a client because we were on a sales call. He expressed interest in baseball. I posted a baseball picture after our first call, he became a buyer because he said, I didn't know you were a Dodgers fan. I said, I am. So I found that common ground, use that content to bring him from a stranger that had one call to a buyer right away. So that's where I document the process. I use the strategy. It's I knew there was a reason in there somewhere. That was the very specific reason is because of that sales call. I immediately got off, thought of an idea. I just happened to see, it just happened to be luck. There was like some 30 for 30 on ESPN pulled this part where Kirk Gibson hits a walk off. And next thing you know, we have a new client because of it. Okay. I got to stop the screen share for a second. Cause I got to give a shout out. Mr. Kenneth Carpenter, Ben, if you could mark down an extra point for the man dropping a GSD mode, zoom background, we're going to write down an extra point for Kenneth and everybody else who wants to do that too. Also going to have extra points, but uh, got to love that. You got but, it. Dude. All right. Now, one more time, and I caught a few of you guys off camera again. Come on now, turn this around. Come on, show your faces. We're all in a judgment zone. Burgers, I want to see it now. Who wants free shit? I know we said this earlier. You're all in a competition to get free shit, but guess what? I like to give away so much free shit. We're at the we're at a midpoint here. I'm going to give away more presents. Who wants presents? Drop me a hell yes in the chat if you want. Presents. Don't see any hell yeses coming on. Here we go. Hell yes, hell yes, hell yes. I want to see what we got left in here. We got 60 people still in here rocking and rolling. I want to see 60 of them. Please and thank you. And then we're getting there. Give me a few more. And the Facebook land, you're not excluded from this prize too. So if you're watching this live on the stream, <clears throat> make sure that you're commenting so we can get this to you too. So what we have here. And geez, guys, this is just almost too much to just give away. But we have a 30-day pre-made promotional sequence with post templates, examples of shit that we've gone through, titles on what you should be having. Oh, my God. It's just, you know, success written all over it. I think it's something each and every one of you guys are going to want. Okay. One more time, drop a yeah, one in the chat. Take a more mute some people. <clears throat> Thanks. Well, show me some ones in the chat. If we don't want it, no ones in the chat. If you do want it, ones in the chat. Cool. All okay. right. So what, real quick, real quick, before you give it away, I want you guys to flip over to Facebook for a minute. I want you guys to smash the heart button, smash the like button. And I also want you guys to drop a comment on a takeaway. Um, and then we'll get this over to you. We'll give you the directions on how to request it so we can make sure everybody does get it. But take a minute, flip over to Facebook. Let's get the energy up in Facebook land. Unfortunately, they're not on the Zoom just like you guys, but we're going to make sure you guys get this beautiful gift. It's already structured for you. You can see the post type Tuesday, Wednesday, et cetera. Um, you'll have everything in your hands from a content scheduling perspective. Cool. So how do you get it? This is how you get it. Mr. Ben and or Mr. Jacob are going to drop the link to my profile. All right. This is me. They're going to drop the link to my profile right now. If you guys aren't my friends yet, come on, add me as a friend. I think we're close enough now. We spent a couple hours together. Let's be friends, people, so you can get some more cool shit later on. Click that link 
it will take you here. You're going to send a message to me once you land on this. And that message is going to be the word stranger. Okay, one more time. You're going to click the link to my profile. You're going to DM me the word stranger. Somebody within my profile, either myself or Mr. Jacob, is going to then get you the free asset, the 30-day promo sequence. And if it's something that you want, then send me a message. If I click this button or I look over here, look at this. Look at all you beautiful people DMing me stranger right now. Just so you see, I get them. I'm over here. I see your messages. All of you guys are going to get this promo cycle. And we're going to be able to get it over to you right now inside a messenger. So one more time, drop that link one more time from Jacob. Click that link that he's about to drop. Send me the word stranger and you'll get the promo cycle. Now, why that promo cycle is even more important, okay, is because tomorrow we have a day two VIP implementation day. Now, this day two is a paid day. It's only $47. But what we are doing is we are doing a full review of offers and we're doing a full creation of content. Meaning I'm gonna take what I just did basically with Mr. Blaine and I'm going to create better, stronger, scary offers and a whole bunch of content with everybody who shows up. Meaning we're gonna fill out these templates that I just gave you. So you're all gonna get those for free if you want help filling them out and structuring them and creating them in a way that is smooth and easy to understand the way that we just did it for Mr. Blaine. That is what we're going to do tomorrow. So if you haven't got that ticket yet and you would like one of those tickets, guys, please drop a, I don't know, put ticket in the, in the comments um, inside the Zoom chat. And as you do that, Ben, my man Ben in here can make sure that you get what you need to be able to go get that ticket. I see a couple of you people, Larry, Zeke, dropping there in the comments right now. Again, guys, what this day is going to be all about, we are going to take your scary offers, we're going to review them. You're going to do individualized breakout rooms with a couple of us coaches. We're going to review your scary offers. We're going to make them better. And then we're going to take them and create a month's worth of content using the template that we just gave out. 47 bucks. It's going to go as long as it needs to go tomorrow to make sure we get shit done. That is the name of our program. That is the commitment that we make. So if you want the ticket, I see a whole bunch of shit in here. Mr. Ben, you on top of this? Get them all their link and make sure we follow up with them. Uh, what we're going to do is go on a brief break, guys. We're going to take a quick 10-minute break uh, while we get all you guys your tickets. And then we're going to jump into some messenger and sales stuff with Mr. Rahul right afterwards. Rahul, anything you want to say before you throw on that video? Yeah. Oh, like this next half is going to now take the content and escalate that content into the conversation so you can actually get on the phone and test everything out. And Justin, don't worry if you got to go grab your ticket for day two. Don't forget, um, Ben will drop it in the chat as well as in, in Facebook as well and DM you guys um, if we're already friends on Facebook. Um, but yeah, the next half of this, we're going to go over. There's a little bit more. So this is the fun shit. This is where all this content now has, has its benefits. We're going to be going over like how we go over conversations, how we deal with like humor how we have fun with this because we gamify ourselves because we're not here sitting here to be stressed out and and try to not enjoy this we want to have fun like imagine this like a lot of you guys that are older let's say maybe my age or younger um we had like when we were on our phones in school college high school whatever pagers in my day people would always say put that shit away let me take it away from you now guess what work is it's like don't stop text messaging this is the environment that we live in. We can literally be closing deals in Canada, in Italy, in any country we feel like because time and space has been collapsed to this social networking, social ability to reach people. So that's how important this is. We don't have to go old school, door knock, cold call, wait for referrals, TV, radio, and all the expensive ways. We can literally do this right now. And look at Ronald. Ronald said it was worth every penny and he's added five new Facebook friends during this call itself. So Ronald's working with other real estate professionals. So he's able to build his list. And I know you've closed the deal recently from following these methods and these processes. So anybody can do it. It just takes that commitment, that training. And we're going to go over it on the next half. And then tomorrow, for those of you guys that do get the ticket, the $47 ticket, we're going to go deep into this because I know that once you have this spreadsheet and you have it that it's editable and you make your copy and you download it to your desktop, Sometimes it turns into a year later and you're like, shoot, I should have done that shit. 6,400 bucks for Ronald. Look at that. 
like live on this live, live while we're talking. He has a $6,400 deal, right? So the whole point being is this works, but now we want to put it into practice because just because you have the tool doesn't mean you're going to know how to operate it. Because if somebody put me into a cockpit, I'd probably need that pilot to show me around, even though I have the instruction manual. So that's what tomorrow is all about is we're going to give you those instructions so you can take this pilot, you can take this course and this information and put it into action so you can get the benefit. Because number one, you got to believe in yourself. Number two, we're going to make you believe in your offer. We're going to make it sexy as fuck. And then we're going to go kick ass, take names. We're going to give you guys a kick in, the kick in the ass and we're going to be taking action and we're going to watch. Tomorrow, you guys will be booking calls live. If you guys are down, who's down to actually book some calls tomorrow? Like literally take that fear away, get that success, get a deal, get a conversation, find out what your market really wants. It's so hard, Rahul. Not, I mean, it's hard as you make it, baby. It's as hard as you make it. What's harder? Harder to make money or harder to stay broke? They're both hard. Choose your hard. Both are really hard circumstances. I'd rather be rich. Cool. Ready to, ready to book calls. I love it. Okay. All right. So, so who, really quick, who, like in the chat too, if you want the ticket, we're going to send it to you. There's the links, like make sure once you do get it, I want to see a three in the chat so we can dial this in tomorrow because we're going to have a special Zoom link for you guys. Um, that way we're going to be able to make sure nobody misses this. Will it be recorded? Yes, it will be. For those that attend, yes, it will be. So you guys will walk away with all of this information. You'll see it recorded. You'll have access to it for a little bit longer. So don't even worry. Even if you can't make it, you'll be able to actually still be able to catch the replay and get a lot out of it as well. Okay. Who has got their ticket? Let's just make sure everybody's all set. We got John. We got Sean. We got uh, Miss Billionaire Queen. We got Jacob in the house. We got Ben in the house. It's obviously going to be there as well. And, and I mean, even just like from what Ben's learned and Jacob's learned in such a short period of time that we brought them in the GSD. That's how confident we know that this process works, that you can actually train ISAs, train setters, and make this like transferable knowledge. Imagine if you get this down, you start booking calls and you hire an ISA, a VA. What would that look like now that you freed up your whole time and all you had to do? was just post a little bit of content. The shit mom and dad told us not to do. We're now doing to make more money than them. And yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow it's going to be the same time. So if there's any confusion on the landing page or whatnot, the t it's the 26th, which is January 26th, tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, there's going to be no end time. We're going to be there to make sure everybody gets what they want. That's the whole point of tomorrow. Okay, we're going to take a short little break. During this break, I want you guys to look back and I want to, number one, grab your ticket. Number two, I want you to also think about your refined marketing message. Now, you got to see Cody do it live. Now, you got to see other people's statements. Revise your statement, come up with maybe a post. And then we're going to walk you through the process of how we turn these comments and these conversations into sales calls. Okay. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. I'm just going to play a little bit of a video. So give yourself about 10 minutes. The video is going to say it's 15. We'll be back in 10. Um, and I'm just going to share my screen and you guys can grab your tickets and we'll go through the rest of this half of today. Think of videos as like an investment. Like right now, you guys have invested money. You guys have invested time to increase your knowledge so you can actually make more money and get more clear. So you're not guessing your way. You're not stalling yourself. You're not having this opportunity cost arise right in front of you. Rahul and uh, the guys at GSD, uh, they do a phenomenal job, phenomenal service. They taught a bunch of our guys I guess like how to market themselves better, how to really dial their offers and how to kind of get that kind of paid ad strategy going. Right now, paid ads is like a paid book funnels. It feels like kind of like a mystical unicorn. Hello, 
my name is Kat Howell and I want to give a big shout out to Cody Getchell who has been able to smash through an industry challenger series that has been set forth for some of the best Facebook media buyers in the industry. What's up everybody? My name is Mikey and I just wanted to take a quick minute and give a shout out to Cody and Rahul. So before meeting Cody and Rahul and taking their course, um, I was beating my head against the wall. I was uh, in a scared place because I didn't know how to close sales. I didn't know how to talk to clients uh, or prospects more so. Um, I didn't know how to prospect to get people even to the point of wanting to talk to me. Um, and so I was really at a point where I had no way of generating income for my business. And that all changed by simply taking their course. I wanna talk a little bit about how people actually succeed when they're looking for a mentor, when they're looking for coaching. Now it might seem a little counterintuitive for me to be telling you when people shouldn't go for mentorship and coaching because that's what we sell. But that's what I wanna be is straight with you, honest with you and tell you what to do because that's what I wanna see is your success. Look at video as also an asset. Each one you do now actually explains what you do with clarity to your target audience. So now you don't have to say the same shit over and over and over again. You can start sending these videos in emails or put it on multiple social platforms, your website, your blog, wherever it can get shared. So now you got this massive free distribution channel. And if you want to amplify it, you have paid traffic. Look, our culture is all about taking action, getting shit done, not letting trying to be perfect stop you from being great. digital marketing agency that helps coaches, consultants, and business owners scale their ads. Then on the GSD side, we have a coaching program where we teach you how to run an effective and profitable agency or coaching consulting business. All right, guys, so if you've ever seen any of our content inside the GSD family, you've heard me talk a lot about this scary offer. All right, this is the core premise behind everything you're gonna do for your organic marketing, for your paid traffic, all of that stuff. It's what we teach our students at the very beginning of everything so that we can create a high ticket offer that attracts your ideal client directly to you. Hey, huge shout out to Raul and Cody with the GSD team. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I just wanna say thank you, first of all, for everything that you guys have done for me and my business. I was in a very troubled spot. The beginning of the year you guys were able to help me out um your program is absolutely amazing whether you're new or you're experienced there's stuff in there for everyone and that's why i love the gsd program so much i've tried other coaches before uh and they just didn't have like the personal touch that i was looking for you know i needed someone to take a look at my business figure out what i was doing wrong and then give me actionable steps to move forward with that so for all you guys out there like if you're uh, considering jumping in with GSD or if you're on the fence with it, I would just say go ahead and do it. You know, jump in both feet first. Um, you know, you have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in your company. Uh, you don't know everything. And what we do as entrepreneurs, you know, we want those quick solutions and, and we have to be able to find a way to get those shortcuts to get to our goals ultimately. But um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate everything that you guys do. You guys are amazing. The first piece is to the puzzle offer which leads into organic and can lead into paid and i'm not saying you have to prove shit out in organic and then you go over to paid you can jump right into it if you have the budget if you have the capabilities to do it the offer can be fluctuated into the others but this is a roadmap that you can follow to slowly earn your way up into scale which is what we all want at the end of the day an order bump just simply means is when you see those little check boxes underneath the order form that says for an extra widget for only X dollars, you get this. So for example, what we do is when people jump into our challenge, but what we have is you register for $49.96 for a challenge, you get access to our three-day event, and if you add the order bump, you're gonna get our $35 million sales script framework that you can utilize for your own business. So now the order bump is $47. So now what this does, this liquidates our ads. 
We can, by the way, use all of this organically. We can update our profiles and promote it organically to the people we also already know and they like and trust us, okay? If you're in this group and you're watching Raul and Cody on a regular basis and you haven't yet hired them, I can't think of better people to work with. By the way, everyone that works for Rahul succeeds, by the way, for the record. What's up, everyone? My name is Brad Newman. I want to give a big shout out to Raul and Cody for being the fucking best Facebook ads agency there is out there. Think about is that if I had not made that investment, I would be stuck back there at 10,000, 12,000 for an entire month. Now, I not only have the income coming in, but I've also got the tools, I've got the connections, I've got the community, and I know how to make more money. So even if something was to happen like tomorrow, I'm cool because I know how to pick up the phone, I know how to do some organic Facebook stuff, and I know how to find my next client, and I know how to make more money. And that to me is priceless. The impact, I just want to create a quick testimonial video for Cody and Raul. Uh, they've been absolutely incredible in servicing our clients inside of our seven figure CEO program uh, and helping them with their uh, paid traffic. And they are actually our preferred partner as well. Uh, and they are absolutely incredible at what they do. Me and Andrew have actually partnered with Raul and Cody over at Custom Creatives because what I found is that this is a necessary part of growth is entrepreneurs like yourself having front end paid ads. And the most important thing when choosing and partnering with an agency is that the, and the, the leaders of the agency must be teachers first. It's adaptable across many different types of industries and niches. And if you get the opportunity to work with him, don't hesitate. Well done, Cody. Well deserved. <laughs> So hey guys, we're here with Rahul Alim of Custom Creatives, and I know a lot of you agency folks are struggling with generating more leads. Rahul, what's the answer? I mean, I think the answer is really knowing and mastering your offer, your niche, your ideal customer, and then putting a predictable traffic source in place so you don't have to worry about those again. So what does that mean for someone who, they've only got a couple clients and they're trying to grow. When you say ideal customer, they don't know who the ideal customer is. Okay, so you're, what you're gonna wanna do is look at a piece of paper, write this down. We wanna talk about who do you love work with, working with from like an industry level? Can they afford your services? Are you capable of fulfillment? And that's pretty much the first level. Then we're gonna write down something called the Dream 100, which will give you guys some worksheets so you don't have to really, really stress too hard on this video here. But that's how you identify exactly who you work with. So when you're doing your marketing, you're doing your offers, it's actually resonating with them right away. So it's easy for them to understand and solve their biggest problems, which is gonna be lead generation for your clients as well. Well, if you're an agency and need to grow in digital marketing, you've got to get in this group. Rahul and Cody and all of us here, we are generating 100K of revenue in this GSD challenge. And if you're even not in this challenge, you've got to find out how this whole thing works because this is how you grow. This is how you generate leads. This is how you maintain great customer relationships. There's a lot of people out there teaching folks how to do seven figure agencies. And not to say that other techniques don't work, but with Rahul and Cody, you're teaching from their direct example and because they care so much and I've seen them over the years, this is a great program. And unlike what I teach, which is maybe very difficult and complex, their stuff is easier to follow. So especially when you are at the starting stages, just trying to get to 10K a month or trying to get to 80K a month, which brings you to be a seven figure agency, these are the steps you need to follow. Through their consistent coaching, they were always on top of responses. Anytime I had a question, they answered right away. They gave me every opportunity to learn about any way of handling objections, of you know talking to clients, uh, kind of c controlling the narrative, um, really figuring out a way to connect with people, um, and then having certain strategies for uh, different moments um, whether it was getting the clothes and getting the contract signed or it was discovering pain points and figuring out, you know, 
what to talk about and what to dial in, in on and keep the conversation geared towards. Um, and there's so much more to all of this and I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but the bottom line is, is that the value I got from this course, I've already 20 X'd. So, and that's, you know, three, four weeks in, um, it's, it's insane. And of course, guys, like you talked about before, all of our students that have implemented this, that's how they've built their dream businesses. When the people have showed up, when the people get shit done, when they actually do the stuff that we give them and they put in the work, they're able to build businesses that they can rely on, businesses that crush it for them, businesses that allow them to live the life that they want, right? And what did I say yesterday, guys? What are we, we're building and acting. What are the next two words? We're building and acting as if we're creating a business as if we are coming back right now. So I want to wake you guys up, come back on camera. Let us get the next part. So thanks for everybody who's staying. You guys are rock stars. We've gone a lot longer than we anticipated. And we still have a little bit of ways to go. So we're going to, we're going to get through this, but not so fast where you don't have takeaways. Uh, but tomorrow are, are, are we allowed to say ever anymore that we go, we went longer than we anticipated when every time we do this, it's at least two or three hours. <laughs> gotta get, I think, gotta get I think people we, context. <laughs> gotta give people the context. It's hard, it's hard to learn something new when it's uncomfortable and too short of a time period. So that's why we typically, a lot of people do these in like an hour. Um, we're known to do it a little bit longer. So you get the most out of it. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so let us do our first giveaway. Does that sound like a plan? So we can get everybody re-engaged. We can get some some energy back up. We can actually, you know what? Let's take a little stretch. Let's like everybody just kind of like stand up for a second. Just don't worry about if your camera is going to show your stomach or whatever. Let's just take a big stretch. Like just stretch it out. Oh, ooh, I got some nice, oh, nice cracks in that one. Uh, twist it out a little bit. I'm going to do a couple jumping jacks really quick in my energy back up and ready to rock. All right. That always helps. Whenever I feel like I'm getting tired, just five jumping jacks, maybe 20 jumping jacks and I'm back at it, ready to rock. All right. All right. So what do we want them to do, Cody? Ben, you guys get to decide. We got some people with the GSD logos on there. I'm loving that. We got Portation in the house. That looks and looking sexy, sweet. We had Ken in the house. Looks like he dipped. Um, so how are we going to be giving this away? Um, I want you guys to drop your biggest takeaway inside of the chat thus far of what you feel has helped you the most. Now, I want you to paste it into the Zoom chat. And if you have Facebook handy, drop it in Facebook land as well. I'm loving that background, John. I like the grind, execution, and hustle. That's always nice to see. Uh, but yeah, drop your biggest takeaway in the chat. I want to see what you guys have learned. See what you guys are learning. You're a bit, I'm a bit confused. I'm confused. They're confused as well. What does that mean? If I'm confused, oh, it wasn't a question. If I'm confused, they're confused as well. Yes. Confused people cannot buy. Remember that. That's a simple statement. If somebody's confused, they cannot buy. I'm overcomplicating my system and developing a pipeline. Yep. Yep. Like a lot of the times when we don't have clarity and we don't get help and don't let it bounce off somebody who's, who's done, who's sold a lot and done a lot, it can be a little bit hard. It seems like we could be going in the wrong direction and it causes us to stop, stops growth. Cool. Eric got the goal sheet. That's perfect. Crafting the offer. All right. Looks like Cody's sharing his screen right now. Put this in cracker? this post. You're going to get points. This is part of the point structure yeah. to win paste, today. Paste that in the chat. Paste that thread. Yeah. And we'll get some points going. And we're going to give away our master class. And then I'm going to put Ben on the spot. Ben, you are going to pick what you feel like is your best answers and one person is going to get a master class we'll get that over to you am and i picking I'll... the best answer for what was the question what the, the best answer in the chat every you got it's got to do two things number one put it in the chat which a lot of you guys have already done and then go to the thread post that cody just did whoever is on that thread post right now we're going to pick from that thread post i'll give you guys a minute to do a hop over flip screens Yeah, it's always great watching live content, uh, Ben. It's just incredible because we're live on the spot, just taking an offer um, and turning it into something sexy that somebody can actually buy from. 
Um, and that's the whole point of this is that we want to take our words, turn them into weapons, stay consistent, stay confident, don't lose sight of our goals. And then we can actually start to scale this sucker because it is hard when you are first starting out. That's the point. It wasn't supposed to be easy, but it gets easier every day. You're going to suck less every day. Then you're going to get good. Then you're going to get great. And then it's going to be repeatable. That's how we grow the business. We want to get to that next level. That's why we write down our goals. Once we write down our goals, then we know exactly how we actually uh, can reach them. Once we have that little bit of a roadmap, that vision map. You can be like, I'll say that for, for Queen. Uh, you can, it's, it's hard to be broke. It's hard to be rich. Choose your hard. Because rich is fun because you have choices. Broke is painful because you don't. So it's a choice. It's not a circumstance. It's a choice. All right, let's, let's get this off. Ben, who do you like? Let's go. Go to the chat. Let's hop in there. Let's see who has everyone there. responded. Like I'm still looking for a few of you guys' answers. Yeah, we got Timothy, we got John, we got Johnny, we got Shante, we got Larry, we got somebody else typing, we got Don. Lots of people on the post. Okay. Right, we'll give you guys a minute to fill this in. Oh, let me go. Let me go to the post. See if I find something I like a little bit better over there. Damn, Ben's picky. Look at that. I like this. This selection process is a little nice here. It's not showing me all the damn comments, though. It's only showing me the last five. Oh, man. It's just six new messages just came through. All right. You got to pick. You got 10 seconds to pick, my man. I'm trying to read other people's. You can't put me on the spot like this. You know what? Let's do this. Since I'm limited on who I can see, it's kind of weird. Let's like go. The answers now. Yeah. Coach Lima. Someone put yes. on the Overcomplicated my systems for developing a pipeline. The process can be simpler and much more efficient. Love the 90% of time talking versus the 90% doing the busy work. This is a pretty thorough answer. And she's been off camera. She's been on camera following all the right steps. The absolute abundance coach, Coach Lee Kara, the absolute abundance coach. Is that who wins or is that you got to give the answer? That's who wins. All right, let's give it up. Let's give it up for the coach, Coach Lee Kara. Congratulations. Ben, we'll connect with Ben. Uh, he's on my profile and we can kind of get to know what it is you, you need and then we can get you access to that first prize. So third place prize is given away it's to Coach Lee Kara. She's going to get a free masterclass ticket. All right, let's keep going. Cody, let's bring up those slides. Let's congratulate Coach Lee Kara. Did I say that correct? Lee Kara in the house. Awesome. All right, let's keep moving along. All right, sir. Request access so that you can control these and go for yourself. Mm. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I've, been I've been exposed. I think <laughs> actually the host, our Jacob, our he can request, um, I guess, yeah, maybe he can't. I gave you the slides, Rahul. You can bring them up on your own thing and share Let's, them. I'll have, you, I'll have you control it for me, okay? So Ben, ben and I are going to walk you guys through this part right now. Ben is our lead setter for the team. So he came in just like you guys, just figuring the stuff out, learning it, going through training. And then ultimately now he's actually booking calls left and right and also qualifying them. So these are the key steps, your ideal audience comments on your post to get your call to action, to join your mission or learn more before reaching out to them in messenger, make sure that you do, you can do two things. Number one, if you get like a huge barrage of response, you don't necessarily have to ask for permission. We like to ask for permission just to make sure we get that engagement and that permission to slide in their DM. And we just say little simple things. Is it okay if I DM it, DM it over to you? Something very, very simple. We don't overthink it. We keep it super simple. 
Or if it's a bit post that explodes and we just don't have time to wait for that interaction, we jump in and start the conversation on our public post. We'll say something simple like check DM. And then we circle back if we haven't heard back from them later in the day saying, did you get it? And then the, what that allows us to do is have that engagement because it helps with two things. Number one is going to be, you have a lot of comments on your post, part of yours, part of theirs. Number two, it creates a lot of engagement. And when you guess what Facebook is, it's a social network. It's an engagement platform. The more comments that you get, the more engagement, Facebook will show it to more people. That's how the algorithm algorithm works. Engaging content gets rewarded with more reach to more people. And best of all, it's free. It's your own broadcast station, all totally free of charge. And you actually benefit Facebook because that's what they're doing. Same with Instagram or any social platform, LinkedIn, wherever you use this, it's not just for Facebook. The important part is when you get engaging content, they're going to reward with you, reward you with reach. Now, Facebook's value in their stock price and their advertising dollars goes up too. So everybody wins. That's why we have this exact process laid out to play nicely with this big company that gives us this huge, huge opportunity. And once they give you permission, of course, you're going to utilize the scripts that will show you and walk you through. And that's how we go from cold to warm. We want to have that evolution of taking that perfect stranger into a legitimate, intimate two-way conversation, and then we can level up the conversation. For example, we'll have conversations where it's just going to be text-based. If we want to raise intimacy, like if you guys pull out your phones for me, for those of you guys that are not on your, on your computers or that are not on your phones, pull out your phones. Let's pull out the Facebook app really quickly. Have, and make sure you do DM Cody Stranger to get the, the gift, that, that 30-day promo cycle as well. But when you, when you go there, like, tell me what you guys see. Like, go to a conversation. It doesn't mean you have to send anything. And you see on here, you have the little camera button, you have the picture button, and you have the voice memo button. As we start to have more conversations, we can raise intimacy by one level. We can do a short voice memo. We can be like, yo, what up, brother? I hope you had a great time on the masterclass. Did you get your ticket for day two? I want to make sure you're taken care of. Hope to see you tomorrow. Voice memo done, right? So I've raised intimacy with somebody. And it, I want to keep that first point of contact extremely short. I don't want to talk so fast that I'm not articulating what I'm saying, but I don't want to go 60 seconds because it looks overwhelming. It's like, fuck, 60 seconds. I'll get to that later. And if they don't mark it as unread, they're not coming back to it. So we just want to be conscious that our first message is short. You can stack two in a row if you want, 27 seconds, 19 seconds. People will read it. It's a game. We're gamifying people. We want to make sure that we're respectful for the time because there's nothing worse in the world than getting a long voice memo, and especially like three or four of them from somebody that you don't even know. They're vomiting on you. So we're just trying to raise that intimacy. One level up beyond that. Anybody know the next level up of intimacy? So we got text. We got voice. What would be next? Anybody in the chat? Drop what that next level of intimacy would be. We're not at Zoom yet. Yes, video. You guys that said video. So like I'll turn on my camera. I can do it directly through the app. I typically go to my camera on my photos. I flip the camera around. I make sure the background isn't all fucked up. And then I say whatever I want. And I will start off back like this. And then I move in. I'm like, yo, Ben. And then I just kind of move in. So it kind of gets that engagement effect right away. So it's that little initial start where I can now start that conversation. And what that ends up doing for me, it allows me to continue the conversation. I um, mean, sorry, keep it higher engagement, higher intimacy, because now they can see me, they can hear me. And now it becomes even more warm as we move on to the next step, as we're maturing to make sure that we can get that next call. Flip over to the next slide, Cody. <clears throat> Cool. So here are some, some examples of how we're in the public conversation. You can see like in this post on the top left, 746 comments. You can see that the comment that we asked them to say was more leads. Uh, so when people say more leads, awesome. Do you mind if I direct message this to you? That's fine. More leads, sweet. Permission to message this to you. More leads. You got it. You got it. Is it okay if I message you? Absolutely. So now you can see 
how we're using that permission base. So we're just getting one level deeper with them saying, hey, we have this more leads. Would it be okay with you if I send it to you? Yeah, absolutely. So now they're anticipating it. So when we start the conversation, it's a little bit warmer. And you can see another example on the right. There was a lot of engagement, 340 posts. And you can see the exact commentary, permission to PM them to you. Yes, please, permission to slide in your DMs. We're taking a variation of this. Because when we get some comments, we don't jump on it right away all the time unless we're totally available and see it live. We may wait for a bunch of comments to start, maybe five or 10, maybe two or three, depending on engagement. Then we start the transfer of, of exchange of information. We start the conversation right here. Now, if we get low engagement, then that's okay. It'll start to permutate. And the best part is, is every post, like we get posts, Cody showed you some of these slides. You've seen some of the dates. You've seen some say 2019. People find these older posts over time as well. So every post that takes off is now a sales asset for you. It's a perfect stranger method like Mecca. It's because a two-year-old post, imagine if a two-year-old post pays you today. People find it, people see it, they comment on it, or you go back and comment on your old shit it reinvigorates the algorithm. Now it rises to the top. Now you can actually build content off of more old content. So we don't have to struggle. We don't have to create, we can just document. So what do we say in Messenger? It's the three W's. It's pretty simple, but we have a better framework than just going straight into salesmanship and trying to sound like we're just pushing stuff. Because the one thing that we're always trying to do is we're the nurse at this stage. We just want to send them what we feel is relevant to them. So if somebody says, hey, I want more, uh, I want your sales script, or I want your ad that crushes it with, with whatever, your, your Cairo ads, we want to make sure it's relevant for them. So be like, cool, I'm happy to send that over to you. You mind if I ask you a few questions, just make sure whatever we share is totally relevant. And then we need to know where they are in the business. So if somebody wants a sales script, what could we presume they need help with? Like in the chat, what could we presume that they need help with? This is just some basic critical thinking because I'm always looking at what would be the next logical step in somebody's journey. Now that you've requested this, what could you want help with? Sales, exactly, Shante. So fulfillment could be one, that's after sales. We wanna sell before we're ready. Um, so when it comes to sales, like, hey, who wants my $35 million sales script? Me, 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 cool. Like, what does your current sales process look like? Like, where do you feel would be a game changer if you can change something in your business? Do you like the way you're doing sales now? What's one thing that I can help lend you some advice that would change the way you can scale this process? So simple little conversational tools that we can use to engage somebody because in order for us to help, we have to be the nurse. We have to understand before we can actually hop on a call, could we even help you first? And we have to eliminate all the skepticism out there. And that's why the knowing our product, knowing our refined marketing statement, knowing who we're serving, like Cody went over in the first part, is so important because it makes us more confident in what we're doing. We're not selling 50 things. We're offering one thing. We can help eliminate the fear of money from your business, the fear of not knowing when another person is going to come into your business, your store, your agency, your coaching business, whatever it may be. We're eliminating that one fear so you can have one main motivator. All roads lead to one thing. Does anybody know what that one thing is that everybody wants all said and done? We work so hard to get one thing. And that's going to be the freedom. We want to be able to have the freedom to make choices. So what we do is the vehicle to a bigger why. We want to be able to make choices. We want to be able to swipe the credit card at, ex at expensive steakhouses without having to look at the bank account. We want to take a day off without checking emails, knowing that our business is still going well. So that's the end point, the overall goal. But it all starts with these boring little basics. The boring always wins. And we're not trying to fix the problems inside a messenger. We just can't. It's too early. Because like, think about it. If I went into a doctor's office, the dude just eyed me up and down and said, hey, let's prep for uh, the operating room. I'd be like, dude, I just have a headache, man. I don't need an operating room. He didn't diagnose me. So that's all we're doing. We're not trying to solve the problems. We just want to make sure that we can help them. And if we can, would you be against hopping on a short call? Does that make sense to everybody? I just want to make sure I got you guys awake. Two in the chat, if this makes sense. Now, the only goal of this, there's only one goal. It's number one, or actually, let me go with two.
there's two goals. Warm them up because you want to make sure you're talking to relevant people. And number two, transition them to a conversation, a phone call. If that's the way you're selling, transition it that way. If you're selling online, transition them to wherever that online thing is. It could be in a challenge. It could be in a group. It could be somewhere. Whatever your goal is for that particular post, follow that process. A lot of you guys are going to want to get on phone calls. Some of you guys will get advanced and do group Zoom calls. So whatever that goal is, just remember what your goal is. You want to get on a call for most of you. And then as you test your audience, just make small tweaks. You don't have to start over. You don't have to make a new offer. You don't have to change your pricing. You just have to get better at demonstrating value. Because when we're living in a skeptical world, we need to be aware of that. We have to eliminate the person themselves of their fear that we can get them where they want to go. And that starts with that scary offer, which allows the rest of this process to be a little bit easier because they're already curious to want to continue the conversation and just keep things abundantly simple. Do not overthink your responses. Like, I mean, Ben's seen me live where we're just dicking around, having fun. Like I like to have fun with this stuff. Like I'll ask older leads, I'll reinvigorate them. I'll say, you like the Grateful Dead? Like what? LOL. I'm like, oh, just kidding, man. I just saw a Grateful Dead commercial on television. I haven't heard, seen those guys in a while. Maybe it's past your time. But anyways, how's biz going? So I can re-engage. Yeah, exactly. Like you just got to get better at demonstrating the value all the time because that's what people are buying, right? They're not buying. If you're going to Hawaii, sell them Hawaii. They're not buying with the screaming babies, the long ticket counters, the, the long waits to get on the plane, the delays. They want just the end result. So that's what we're going to be offering. And we're going to make an offer. We're going to make sure that we our offer is also just to get them to get on a call using simple language. Would you be against hopping on a call to see if we can even help? Would you be against hopping on a quick call to see if we can even help? So it's just the language pattern. So this isn't hard to implement. It takes practice. It takes time. Ben, like how much practice do you put into this? Every day. Yeah. So we're practicing this every day. Like how long do you spend in a day to just be better at just this one thing? An hour every morning. An hour in the morning. That's it. An hour of your day. We have 24 of those hours. How are we going to use them wisely? How are we going to prioritize it? This is why we prioritize Ben's time to spend an hour to learn just this one skill, the art and science of being able to use text-based messaging platforms to get people to want to actually change. That's all we are. We're change makers. We help people make change. We allow people to have the permission to get what they want rather than suffer. So think about it as a responsibility level. Like, like for instance, like Blaine, you're going to be working with chiropractors. Larry, you're working with business owners. Think of it as your responsibility. If you knowingly know you have something that you have to give, whether you're experienced or not, but you have the energy, the effort, the desire, the will, and you don't make that offer to that person, what if they choose the wrong person? What if they do nothing? And then next week, the following year, their shit is no better than it was the day you decided not to make that offer. What if they go out of business? Take a little bit of personal responsibility too, that it's your job to get better. It's you or someone else. That someone else could also be nobody. Because how many people have you ever met in life where they did not do anything and they're worse off because of that decision? They didn't hire the marketing firm. They didn't hire the coach. They didn't implement the funnel. They did it their way and it failed. Have you guys ever met a friend like that? Like a person that just complains, life happened to them, not for them. That's what we want to change. We have to have that desire to be able to help the people. And don't worry about faking it till you make it. This skill will eliminate any imposter syndrome that you make, that you feel. I don't feel like I'm good enough. Welcome to the fucking club. Everybody feels that way at some point or another. Michael Jordan missed the most amount of shots that were with the game on the line. It's the biggest failure in basketball, but we all know his name, right? So we got to take those shots. That's how we're going to win. All right, let's go to the next slide. <clears throat> this is flame. <laughs> awesome. Fire. So yeah, I love fire emojis. If you guys like this, drop some fire emojis. Uh, like Zeke just nailed it for me. And also, anybody know who these two gentlemen are? Are you guys old enough in this chat to know who these people are? This is where the name of this campaign, of this whole entire coaching scenario, this, this like what I call the famous perfect stranger method 2.0, now 2.0. Perfect strangers, the television show. That's Cousin Larry 
and Balky. So that's how we came out with the the name. And we were talking about like these cold to soul, these people who don't even know who we are handing us credit cards over the phone is because we've been able to demonstrate this skill over time. So we called it, man, we got the perfect strangers. And they're like, ah, the television show, perfect strangers. So those are those two gentlemen, just in case you didn't know who they were. We should probably put our faces on those and make it a meme. That'd be kind of weird though. But anyways, let's keep going. So going back to the mission post, Cody gave you, this is 2.0. So Cody already gave you guys the new version of a mission post. So this you can use. Will this work? Sure it will. If you have the right types of people on your friends list, the right people that you built on your pipeline. If you add value and you post, post a mission post, people will be supporting you. The purpose of this is to put your stamp in the world of what you do, demonstrate to people that you want to do it, you can do it. And if people engage with your friends, your family, that's engagement. It's important for everybody to know exactly what the fuck you do so they can refer you business and think of you. When I post stuff, I will get people even from my high school, which is shocking to me, which shows me after doing this 18 years that I still got to talk about what I do. People didn't know we did marketing. And I'm like, how on earth didn't you know that? But that's my fault. I need to post more. I need to demonstrate that I do what I do so we can get people to reach back out to us. So when they think of who can do this, why not think of somebody you already know, like, and trust versus roll the dice on a complete stranger? We've done a lot of business with a lot of family members and a hell of a lot of friends. Because when people say never do business with friends and family, they just not may not be getting the right friends and family. They may be not setting the right expectations. Those are the people who trust you the most. They're not a pain in the ass when you draw a line in the sand and set expectations. So we have training on that too. So here's some, here's a, like, Here's the reply, permission to slide in your DM. Do I have, you might want to screenshot that so you can take a couple variations, change it up, have fun with it. Can I slide up in the DMs? Yo, thanks for the comment. Can I send it over to you? Have some fun with it. Use your personality and make sure it's appropriate also at the same time for that target audience. If you're dealing with very high professional people, maybe be a little bit more polished and professional. If you're dealing with more of a, like a crowd that doesn't mind like language or Kanye West style content, then just use fun things, have fun with it. That's what this whole point is. You want to have fun with this. So you can see your calendar, have 10 appointments by the end of the week. All right. So here's some messaging sequences. So Let's see. So thanks for commenting on my posts. Cool. Can I ask you a few questions about your biz to see if we're able to help further? So take this with a grain of salt, like modify this, use your own language. What I might say will be slightly different than Ben's tonality. When Ben's using my profile, he'll be using more of my language. When he's using his profile, he'll be using more of his language. So do what's best for matching what you do, your own personality. So this is more of a direct type conversation when somebody we already know knows us. So when somebody knows us and we do a post where we're doing a masterclass, or we're giving away something, we want to get right to the point. What kind of revenue are you doing month to month? All right, cool. What are you shooting for? All right, what do you think is the bottleneck that, that's stopping you from hitting that target? So, so think of it as a sequential conversation. All we're doing is being the nurse. We just want to see if we can help. So this content right here, number five, this one is a little bit different than we use something different. This one line right here, would you be open to hopping on a call to explore? We don't use that anymore, but we now say, would you be against hopping on a call to see if we can help you? Would you be against hopping on a call to see if we can help you? Would you be against hopping on a call to see if we can help you? Now, some of the links that we're going to have available before we start this is that previous slide had a loom link. That loom link explains what the goal is of this conversation. If we're delegating this, if you're scaling your time with other people, virtual assistants, we make an explainer video really quickly. It's under five minutes, preferably under two. So we can explain what we're about to do, what link they're going to get. So we give them the link of the widget. So if it's a script, it's either a Google drive, that's going to be view only. People can make a copy or we're going to make just a simple landing page, just an ugly page. It doesn't have to be beautiful, just something quick and dirty that can capture their name, email, and their phone number. If you want to build a database, only if you want to build a database. But if you're trying to go quick, start the conversations, Google Drive is all you simply need. Now, 
when we get from number five to number six, we just go right into trying to get their information. What's the best email and phone number for booking a call? And then once we get it, depending on how busy we are, if we're super, super slammed, we're going to just like, now we've got their information. So I can just say, Hey, I'm Ed. like, what's the best number to connect? Awesome. Now, what about an email? So I can shoot you over a calendar request. Awesome, dude. You know what? Why don't you just book a time here on this calendar that suits your schedule? So now I've got your information so I can contact you. But now I'm, because I have lots of comments, I might actually delegate it back to you. If I have time to go through the conversations, which I want you guys to start off with, is this next line. Let me know what day and time works best so I can confirm it. And I'll shoot it right over to you. So you're going to send the calendar link. And if you're using Calendly, fill it in yourself. If you're using Go High Level, fill it in yourself. So it automatically goes into whatever database you're using for tracking. If you're not using a database, just use a calendar. Just get, get it over. I'll say, Blaine, cool. I just shot it over to you. Can you just check to make sure you got it so I can confirm? And you'll say, yep, got it. Cool. Just hit that accept thing for me, will you? Awesome, brother. Uh, I set up the reminder 15 minutes and five minutes before. Do you, got, do you have time to watch a quick video for me? Yeah, I do. Cool. Drop a video. So now we're getting pre-engagement content. Now, again, if you don't have this type of content available to you, skip it. That's it. Don't worry about creating it. Don't let this stop and stop you or impede you from going forward. That's super duper important. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't blame the tools that you don't have. You can create them along the way. The sooner you do, the better it is. Now, there's a saying that we have, what's, our, what, what's the best post we can do? It's the next post. What's the best video we can do? It's the next video. So keep practicing your craft. Keep, keep doing the content. That's going to be the golden goose. Like in one of the videos that we had was that lays all the eggs. You can rely on this traffic. Paid traffic is predictable if you know what you're doing. Organic is more trustworthy because they definitely have that camaraderie with you. They have a connection. They have that degree of separation. Okay, so got it. It's confirmed prior to the call. Go back one second, Cody. Sorry, man, to make you control this for me. Um, I look forward to speaking with you. Uh, we'll call you then. Did you get the invite? Cool. Talk Every to chance you. Every chance keep on cleaning it off and you keep on. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Sandra. Um, talk to you then. P.S. One more video. So this is our style. We just want to give them a video, a video. And all that is, is pre preliminary sales content. We want to make sure that what you're about to see is going to be highly relevant. We want it to actually excite them for the call. Every step is to make it more intimate as we go, because we are living in skeptical world. We do have to prove ourselves. We do have to show people that we do have things of value. And that's what this is all for. Like I said, never blame the tools you don't have. Keep Guys, going if you videos, don't have videos. These videos serve a couple of purposes as well. All right. This is where we can re-implement, teach them how to think content. This is where we can actually prove to people that we're coming from a place of help. All right. So what I tell my salespeople is I don't care if you think that they have no money. I don't care if you think that they're not a good fit. I don't care if they've shown up and wasted your time. What I want you to do as a salesperson, as a representative of one of our companies, is I want you not to leave that call and holy shit, are there not a lot of you guys hiding from me now? Nobody wants the prizes? Come on, people. Where did you go? They thought we weren't going to look in again for the rest of the day. They thought they could just hide from us. Come on, man. Ah, oh, Sean showed back up with the background. Extra bonus points for protest for Sean. Ben, I hope you're writing all this shit down. These guys are rocking it up. But what I'm trying to say here, guys, is look, you have to leave a sales call or a conversation in Messenger or any kind of conversation with these people from a position of help. One of the main purposes of this is, you know, we used to do sales calls where it was, okay, let's give them this video as a way to warm them up and get them closer to the sale, right? And if that's the position you're coming from, you've got commission breath, you know, you've got that kind of feel where it's like, I know you're just trying to get me to want to buy your shit more. Okay. And that's okay. Of course, that's what you want. But if you come from a position of help, that means you're actually listening to whatever it is they're saying, right? Right. Maybe they don't have enough money for you right now, or they have something going on crazy. They got COVID, all this stuff, right? And they need something. And you have a puzzle piece that could fit in there and help them get a little bit further, two steps further along. They're going to remember that shit. When they use that to make a little bit of money, they're going to remember who helped them do it. And they're going to invest in you because you helped them get there. You can probably help them get further. So use these videos 
like this exit of all of these conversations that Rahul's talking to you about, not as like, here's a testimonial, you'll love me now and I'm going to buy, right? Don't try to be the rah, rah hero, but come from a position of help. If there's a story from one of your clients that you think could help them, if you have a training that you've done that you think could help them take the next step, trust me when I say the value that you give, the stories that you tell, the connection that you make from truly coming from a position of wanting to help and exiting every conversation with the ability to help the other individual, that shit will reflect back to you and you'll be able to build a much stronger relationship with clients and prospects that can progress that along. So understand the assets that you have, the videos you have, and use them appropriately. And I promise you guys, you're going to see a lot of success with it. Yeah. And if you guys don't have any videos tomorrow, we'll be sharing some very simple like videos, like literally shot on our iPhones. Like those are like, like we probably wasted so much money on like high value production videographers taking a whole fucking week, planning all the shit out. But when we do our raw authentic content where there might be some stutters, there might be some screw ups. Those are our highest performing pieces of content where it's raw, authentic, we're real. When it's scripted, people do know that it is scripted. It looks pretty cool. Our mom likes it. Our dad likes it. Our team likes it. But not everybody resonates easily with it. So I'll show you some simple frameworks tomorrow. And uh, if for those of you guys that show up, and I'll share exact examples that were literally shot on a freaking iPhone. And I send it to an editor and I have a template that we follow where we can just get like a simple editor and spend like 200 bucks to get something really dope. All right. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, if the lead is a no, no issue at all, because again, we're refraining from being emotionally attached because honestly, we don't know if we can help them. The game is not to help everybody. It's to help the people who are encouraged, who want things, who are willing to just take one step closer, eliminate sales pressure. We're not selling them anything. We can't sell something that they cannot use. That's that first and foremost. It's an old sales adage, detach yourself from the sale then you're going to be coming from a position of gratitude. You're going to be wanting to help them. The conversations, even if they don't go in your direction, you're going to eliminate that call. You're going to leave that call feeling good, not pushy, not salesy, not scumbaggy. And that person will respect that and think of you for the future. If it's not a good fit today, no problem. It may be in the future, but that person may be able to tag you in videos or posts and click funnels or your, your Cairo groups or whatever your industry is and recommend you even though you're not their customer. They're not your customer. That happens a lot, believe it or not. Um, that's one of the best also ways to scale too. So anyways, we're gonna, we want to give them some help, not an issue. Thought I dropped this video in case you're a little too busy, but maybe interested to reach back out when you have some more time. So again, we, since we've developed the video, we give the video. So anytime when Cody was talking about productizing an offer, productizing the system. Same thing with what we have going on here. If we have something that works, just turn it into a one page, really dirty, like quick and simple Google sheet. It does not have to be fancy. You can just paste your logo on it. And that is it. As long as the information is pretty good, the aesthetics can be worked on in the future. Now, there's also people that disappear. There's people that you've had in conversations with. You've spent some time on it. And has this ever happened to anybody? Like, Five in the chat, if this has ever happened where people just disappeared, you see that they read your message and you're like, dude, what the fuck? It's how you read it, man. We're just talking. Like we're just starting to have a, like a meaningful conversation and, and up and gone. Oh yeah, that's happened to a lot of people. So yeah, it's happened to us, believe it or not. <laughs> it's happened to us a bunch. You spit on you. That wasn't. Oh, intensely i gotta we gotta mute out sandra somebody mute out sandra really quick um okay cool so we have some emojis that we utilize and like i know sandra's family's not ghosting her i can hear them right now so we can definitely hear their around but what but when we use for these emojis like we, like but ben you hop on because you use this part more we use like the jim carrey uh graphic somebody mentioned it already um that's one of them um, what else do you use, man? What's your, what's your go-to ghosting lines or emojis? Are you is just, this, what's yeah, that? My go-to is, are you just ignoring me on purpose? Question mark. Yeah. Are you ignoring me on purpose? What's the prom line? The prom line is, oh, it feels like prom all over again, being stood up. Ha ha ha. 
LOL. Yeah. So, so those types of lines just get people to laugh. We'll get people to say, oh shit, you got me. Like, we'll say something like, literally like, this feels like prom all over again. Feeling stood up, LOL. I sometimes take it a little bit of a step further. I'll use that same prom line. And then a next sentence will say, should I cancel the limo bus? So we're literally having fun with this and we're finding out what's going to get somebody to respond. And then we move on to the next. We move on to the next. And if somebody gets aged and we don't want like it's a stack blue messages without anybody responding, one little hack, you can hold down one of the messages that you just sent and add an emoji to it. Like the O face is what I typically do. The ah, uh, where the mouth is open. So I don't have to waste the second message. It gives them that alert without having to have another comment below it. So aesthetically, it's not like three or four blues. And when we're following up, follow up is the name of the game sometimes. Okay. Follow up is key. So don't feel bad. If you feel like you're beating a dead horse, just use your time wisely. Just saying, all right, now I'm going to go through the people who haven't responded. Just boom, quick messages. Or you can make a new offer saying, hey, we're about to launch our Perfect Stranger 2.0. Would any interest in joining dot, 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 it's a free event. Re-engage them with some more value. Don't hate on them. Don't get angry. Don't worry. Because how many people are on this earth? I don't even know the answer to that, but I know it's over 7 billion. Now, how many people are in your target audience? A million people who do what you want, that do what you can sell them. We have a lot of options, guys. So don't get fixated on one. Just keep going, build that top level pipeline. And I promise you, as you focus and you build, you don't cut the head off. You follow this perfect stranger method and other things that we show you that we teach that are beyond just this method. This is where we have that predictability. The nose and the ghost, like no issue at all. Thanks for your time. Like we already went over this and the ghost emoji. Let's move on to the next one. So here is an exact live conversation of people that we've actually booked calls on. So they're looking for lead gen, et cetera. And we just literally send them into the, the Calendly. So you can just see, like scroll, like leave it on one of those slides really quick. Let me pause right here. So just people can see it. It's a little bit blurry, but you can see like what we're saying. Cool. Are you still looking to get X? Yeah, stop scrolling. <laughs> it's used to, are you, yeah, I don't know if you're controlling it or somebody else's, but yeah. So are you still looking to get more consistent flow of appointments? These ads, we're giving away some ads. And then we're, these ads are great. But to be honest, the solution to your bottleneck goes past a few new ads. I'd be happy to show you some of the blah, blah, blah. I can't really read it. But you get my point is that we're now using our lead magnet to transition them to see if they'd be open to hopping on a call because there's no one trick pony. If you're hungry, you can go to Chipotle, get a burrito. But if you want to run a business, there's not a copy and paste mechanism all on one conversation, just text-based. We want to make sure that whatever we offer, we can help them get where they want to go because the worst advice, the most expensive advice you can take is from the wrong person. And we definitely want, don't want to be the deliverables of the wrong person. We need to make sure we can diagnose them really well. Once we know that we can, then and only then we can make a recommendation. Because imagine if your doctor literally said to you, Larry, you need surgery. We're going to take out a kidney tomorrow. We're going to prep you. And you'll be like, dude, just had a sprained ankle, man. That's not cool, right? It's malpractice. So in our case, it'd be marketing malpractice. We need to make sure we follow the process once we follow the process, we get good at the process, we can delegate the process, and then we can have 10 to 20 book uh, appointments every single week, okay? So, Cody, if you want to hover this. Huh? What? Take over? Yes. Yeah, All just, right, cool. Yeah. So, <clears throat> sorry, guys. Yeah. So, let's take a look at this. Obviously, I've shown you guys success stories. If you guys have booked any calls with us or looked at any of our stuff, we have over 100 of them sitting on a bunch of pages that you guys can go check out literally at any time. What we just did today, guys, really was go over the first couple of pieces of the puzzle. All right. Now, we went a little long because we have to over deliver because I want you guys to be able to take this shit, rock it out, put it to use, and crush it. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do, boom. Too many of you guys are hiding. Come on, guys. Where are we at? Come on unhide your face i know we're three hours into this some of you guys have probably passed out you're sleeping in the corner but i want you to wake up and i want you to come back and i want you to just 
peek out of the void and say hello. A few of you guys have got the GSD mode on graphics. That's how I know we're getting shit done. The rest of you guys, come on, show your faces. Let's get this shit going, all right? We showed you today a couple of really good pieces to the puzzle offer we should be able to really lock that shit down organic traffic we should be able to rock it out and if you want to dig into that further and you haven't got your ticket yet hit up ben so tomorrow i can help you build this and this even better we're going to really rock it out but by bringing everything together all the pieces to the puzzle that's what allows people to you know actually rock this out and hit their dream businesses all right so i want to do a little exercise with you guys today who's up for a little exercise drop me a one in the chat if we're awake if we're alive, if we're still here taking action oh, no together right now. All right, we got one, two, three, four. Keep on, keep on going. I need more people to be awake. The whole damn crew needs to wake up. All right, we got this. So we're going to do a little game, all right? Scoring system. You score two points for every piece that you have in your business. And if you've scored over seven, you're ready to take your shit to the next level. All right, so take out a pen and paper with me. You're going to drop the score in the chat right after you're done. But you're going to take out a piece of pen and a paper right now. All right. We're going to go through this one by one. Are we ready? Everybody who's on camera, give me a thumbs yeah, get, up. Get everybody. a fresh paper, too. Don't use the one you used for your goals. Something fresh. Okay, guys? Keep that notebook going. We're going to fill the whole damn thing. Now, number one, if you have worked with a client before, you've done what you want to do, it's your dream job, you've got an idea of who it is, and you've actually worked with one before, you're going to put a two for me, all right? You're going to put a little a two, number one, two. All right, if you've worked with a client before, put a two. You have revenue from either marketing services or coaching services, meaning you've actually had the client and they've paid you, or you have a student in your coaching program and they've paid you. All right, if you do that, one of those two things, you're going to write another little two underneath the first one, all right? You're going to put a second two. Or if you haven't done it, you're going to put a zero. If you have a niche or offer idea, meaning you know who you want to work with and you have an idea of what it is you're going to offer them, all right? Who you want to work with, what you're going to offer. You're going to put a two. That's a two or a zero. Four, if you're committed to building your agency or coaching program into a real business, this means it's not a side hustle. You know, it's not a concept for you. It's something you're committed to actually doing. You're going to put a two. And five, you provide real value to your audience, clients, students. You come from it, uh, from a position of help. That's what we want. We want to help more people who are going to help more people. And if that's true, you're going to put a two. Now, guys, I want you to add all that shit up and drop in the chat. What is your total? I already see Coach Lee put himself a 10. We got another 10 from the other people. We get 10s, 10s, 10s. Look at all the 10s. You guys are rocking it up. Because we got a six. Here. So close. So close. We got to get you up to a seven, my man. We got to fix that next part. We got Larry hitting a 10. Shante hitting a 10. Pratesh dropping a 10. Who else is out there and with me? Dropping, looking for scores. Naheem says he's got an eight. Boom. Juan says he's got a 10. Queen says 10. Jacob says 10. Let me just put my total in here. Let me go ahead and just put 10. 10 out of 10. Right? Amit says 10. Rahul says 10. Good. But what this means is if you scored seven or over that, guys, you are close to that next level. And no matter how much of that struggle you kind of feel like you've been going through, you know, there's a clear path to being able to hit that next level. Whatever that next level looks like to you in your own personal situation, right? What you need is the puzzles the pieces, the square pig that fits in the square hole and not to be shoving the round one in there and trying to figure out what the hell is wrong, right? Why am I on this roller coaster? Why doesn't this piece fit over here? It's because you're just smashing away at it. Oh, I smashed so hard I broke my camera. You're just smashing away at it and you're creating a situation or you're trying to use a solution that is a glove that doesn't fit on the hand, okay? And we need to fix that. It needs to be a personalized approach. So what that personalized approach looks like is the GSD program, guys. What do we do? It's done with you slash for you organic marketing. What that means is we actually hire and place a setter for you. We actually will go on calls with you and write content with you every single month. We do at least a couple of these calls a month and you get one with your onboarding call so that it's a done for you system. We write, create, 
and launch ads with and for you, for yourself and for your clients every single Friday. We source and train setters, guys. I can't explain this enough. We also manage and train them for you. So these VAs and these setters, these very cost-effective organic marketing machines, we source and we set them for you. Who thinks they could benefit from having one of those types of employees on their team who's actually managed and trained by people like us? Drop me a one in the chat. If that sounds like something you think your company, your program, your agency, whatever it might be, could benefit from. Yeah, right. I mean, to, to like, as Cody goes through this, like you can obviously see what the GSD program is about, but what we're looking for is like a fast track, a proven method, a roadmap that is already worked, but it's been proven 150 plus other times. So it's like, we can get to a goal, but we can always go there alone. I'm sure a lot of people will figure it out or some people may never figure it out. But the reality is we give all these assets to you, all the training, all the calls, all the love, all the accountability in a fast track. You need ads done for you. You need help fixing an ad, hop on an ads call. You need messenger strategies, get custom scripts that are already going to work, start working and watch that company scale. So that's all we're doing here is we're giving that fast track, that 18 years, that 12 years of Cody's experience, 18 of mine, that we're rolling up into a system and a process. Everything needs to be an assembly line. That's the overall goal is how quickly can we get to that assembly line? Because the speed is really, really important because A, we're not getting younger. The one resource that we can always get more of is going to be money. The one resource we can never get more of is going to be time. So we have to make, make sure how do we maximize both? How do we invest our time, our money, our energy, and our effort into something of a higher being? Because if we're stuck somewhere, we're only going to be able to see things in our own perspective. If we now get the help of somebody who is where we want to be, then we can see things from a higher, dif different perspective. Then we can now implement it. Because if we want to be millionaires, we got to make the decisions millionaires make. If we want to stay where we are, we stay stuck and we stay at that decision level. And that's all it is. What do we want to get out of life? How quickly did we want to get that result? How quickly do we want to make the money and not make that an issue? How quickly do we want to hire? How quickly do we want to get out of our own way and delegate the business away? That's really the real main components of like that freedom, that skill, because that's what it's going to take to be able to get high ticket clients. We have to have that skill level to be able to authentically attract them and have the backbone and the support to be able to confidently deliver for somebody. Because one of the mechanisms we always talk about when Blaine said he was new in Cairo, that's okay. We sell before we're ready. Because what if we build something that the customer just doesn't want? How many people think that way? They build something. There's so many builders that I meet. They make the next zap. They go and go high level and build this little fucking snapshot, but yet they don't have a client to put it in. It's because they created something nobody gives a shit about. They forgot about the front end, the pipeline, the marketing, the sales. Then we move into delivery and rockstar teammates. But we can always start with great offers that need tweaking because there's a lot of people that have an offer, they've had it for 10 years, 20 years, but they're not successful at it. It's because they haven't innovated because there's Blockbuster and Netflix, right? Blockbuster didn't go out of business because of Netflix. Blockbuster just failed to innovate the offer. And that's what this whole process is about. But Cody, I'll let you continue down because like, I think like the most important things is having those skills so we can make it repeatable confidently. The concept here, guys, is we are as done for you, both organic, paid, and team building as you can possibly get. We help you build your team, we manage and train your team, and we do create and publish all kinds of organic shit like the perfect stranger method you saw today. We help you implement this for you, paid traffic for you and your clients, and we implement a support system and an accountability system that I kind of want to go through in just a second that is about as good as it can possibly be in the marketplace. We also guarantee results, but I wanna show you before I go into any guaranteed results and all that crap, just how much this is personalized so that you can see how much support you truly get. So we have daily calls, Monday all the way through Saturday, every single day on different topics so that you can show up, be live with us just like this, get your questions answered. In fact, we give one-on-one -on -one individual attention on all of these calls. And on Wednesdays, we can break out and do individual one-on-one -on -one calls as well. We have a 24 seven support chat where we all get to talk to one another, answer questions. We have question threads where you can get your questions answered directly by specific coaches on specific topics, 24 seven. And if that wasn't good enough, on top of all of this, 
we give you guys your own personalized accountability coach. And so her entire job is to make sure that your questions are getting answered. We track your stuff and your progress with what we call the student success tracker. How many calls a week you're booking, how many sales you're making, how many people are showing up. And we get to personalize the structure and approach to what you're learning and the support you're getting and the mentorship that you're getting specifically from me and Rahul. All right. We are there with you guys all the time in that program. We are not selling you something that we don't even do anymore. We do this shit as like a passion project. We still have the agency and a bunch of other shit. We don't need to coach, but we do because we like this shit. I like helping people. In case you couldn't tell from all the monologues I've given today about it. It's nice. It energizes me. It's the shit that I want to do. And so we don't go anywhere. We show the hell up. And that's what this is all about. Glove that fits the hand. Square pig in a square hole. A personalized strategic approach that lets you absolutely crush it. And we do it right from the jump. Roadmap calls that personalize your entire program, content call to build out your first couple of months of content, sales process call with Rahul to make sure you're selling shit and rocking it, and a bunch of hiring and done with you processes that we talked about already. On top of all of this, guys, we guarantee results. Well, guys, before me, we go into the guarantee one. really quick, like who, who feels like accountability is like a missing element because it goes underserved because I know when... I have coaches when I was playing sports, when I was coming up in my business, I just did shit. I, I was a wrecking ball. I was a, a bull in a fucking China shop, just breaking stuff, figuring it out. But then once I found multi-millionaire people, people working at billionaire companies, billion dollar brands like Sony and stamps.com and paying people who had bigger visions than me that I couldn't figure out then that investment and that knowledge just paid off so much. It allowed us to close those bigger deals like the Realtor.coms, the Geico's, the publicly traded companies, the small businesses at will. It created a consistency, but I needed somebody to kick my ass because I can go watch YouTube videos and watch tennis, but I'm definitely not going to be able to be good enough to hop on and play Wimbledon because that content is all available there. It's just the accountability to have somebody kick your ass and show you the exact roadmap, the bottleneck that you're already going to face, but the one you're already in and get out of it in an instant. That's really what we're trying to do here is really kind of anticipate what's already going to happen, predict the next move and read the minds of our customers so we can maximize those sales, maximize those opportunities. Like when like Eminem famously said, you got one shot, one opportunity. In our cases, we have that one shot, one opportunity with hundreds of thousands of people. Are we going to maximize them? Or are we just going to dwindle them down and let them go by the wayside and they're, oh, they're not the right client. They don't have the money. It's because we're not prepared. We're not giving them the right value. We're not doing the right sales process. It's because we need some small tweaks can make that a limitless shift. It's like we want to give you the limitless pill all in one shot here and give you the accountability all along the way. Now, who thinks that this kind of shit could change their business? If they were able to apply this and get this done for them, done with them, get the round peg, round hole, you get the idea kind of shit with this accountability. Who thinks this could take their shit to the next level? Drop me a hell yes in the chat if you guys think that this would be helpful. We got some hell yeses, hell yeses, hell yeses. Good, guys. Love it. Now, drop me a GSD if you think it would be even better if we put our money where our mouth is and guaranteed results along with it. If that would even change the game a little bit, move the needle a little bit further and let you absolutely want to rock this shit out. We got GSDs all around. Look at this shit. Good. Love it. Because that's what we do, guys. Not only do we create this, but we also guarantee results. We guarantee that you'll double your program investment. We guarantee you're going to get 100 done with your appointments ASAP up over the line, creating success and moving momentum. And we've always got our 300% guarantee. What's the 300% guarantee rule? Tell it people works, about it. It works for 100% of the people, 100% of the time, for 100% of those who are committed and shows up and gets shit done with us. We're going to make it impossible for anybody to fail. That's the, that's the bottom line. If you guys want to get shit done, we will hold your hand. We will kick your ass. We'll give you the necessary tools because we have done for you funnels, done for you scripts. And then we make it a framework so it fits in line with your personality. Because somebody said in the chat, it comes down to who the person is. You're uniquely individual. Our script won't work for you. But when we tweak it, we practice it, we rehearse it, 
guess what? Your sales go from zero closing ratio to 10% to 20 to 30 to 50. How will that help? If five out of every 10 calls closes, if they're the right prospect, you have the right qualifying process, you're not wasting your time anymore. It's no longer little league. It's going to turn into a real business and real fast. That's what we're trying to do. Collapse time and space. So your best investment truly becomes yourself. That's at the end of the day, what we want to do. So one more time, guys, double your investment guaranteed, 100 appointments, 300% guarantee. This is what we're putting our mouth, our money, sorry, where our mouth is. Not our mouth, where our money is. That's gross. All right. So we're going to get this shit rocking out. We do it right. Everything that is inside of here is as done for you, as by the hand, as foundationally secure as it can be. We always talk to people, and you heard me say this in a couple of our videos, right? Act and build as if. Well, our program is completely created around that. No matter what position you're in right now, we have the next step there for you to grow into. That's what build as if means. That's the foundational pieces every step of the way to make sure we're not collapsing in on ourselves. We're creating a sustainable, scalable business. Does that make sense, guys? Drop me a one in the yeah. chat if that resonates, if that makes sense. We've got to do this level by level. We don't want to build something that just collapses. We want to build something that truly scales and is able to be successful. Now, guys, if you want to create, have a conversation about this with us, if you want to join the hundreds of success stories, the videos, the stuff that we've shown all of you, a lot of you guys I've seen, right? You guys have seen some of this stuff. You want to join the wall of success, then drop me a three in the chat. Hit up Mr. Ben. He's dropping the link right there in the chat. And we're going to open this up to some Q&A right now, guys. All right. So anybody yeah. have questions, number one, on what's happened today? General questions whatsoever, open it up the floor. If you have questions, you want to dive in a little bit. But also, if you've got any questions about the program and any of that stuff before you book a call, right now is the time to do it as well. Otherwise, let's talk inside the chat. Let me know if you want the link. We can hit you up and let's answer some questions. Well, my, I, I want to start off with a question. Ben, will you? I want to see you guys on day two, regardless. I want to see all of you guys that are still here because we have a lot that we're going to be going over tomorrow. That's going to be really important stuff. So I'm going to have Ben put the chat in there. It's only $47. That's all it is. Not going to change your bank account. It's not going to put you on the street, but it's going to give you the information to be able to get to that next level, to be confidently starting conversations. Any one of you guys that want to jump onto that second link that Ben just dropped at 501 in the chat that starts off with GSD dot, that's what you're going to want to make sure that you click on. Okay. Um, so that's important because then we'll see you tomorrow, but then, Anybody have questions on the program itself? Because I want you guys to be clear. I want you guys to feel good that you're in the right place should you want to explore seeing how we can work with you. Because there's literally nothing for sale because we have to do with the process. We have to understand where you're at, which program fits your needs, and how are we going to get there? When you feel confident and feel good, we enroll you. It's a very simple process, but you guys have to make sure you're in the right place. That's important that you guys are asking questions that you need because it's your life. It's your business. Do you want to get there faster? Or you want to get there slower? Do you want fear to conquer success or success to conquer fear? That's really what it comes down to. Skepticism as its finest. We want to eliminate all skepticism for you, but also we want to eliminate all skepticism for the people that you work with. It's a mirrored effect. When we become investors, we attract other people that are like-minded with investment mentalities. And that's the whole circle that we all ultimately are going to find out. Why not find that out sooner? Because we don't have to work the rest of our lives. We can retire in two years, 10 years, five years. That's all possible in today's world. But it's the sooner we figure it out, the less competition there's going to be, the more people we can serve. Does anybody have any questions? This is where I do a drum roll. We all stare at each other. Everybody here who is not on video, I don't know if you realize this or not, but uh, this is the end of the call. So now is probably the time to open up and come on here if you actually want a chance at the prize. Some of you worked so hard and commented so much. Don't lose it all just because you won't show your beautiful face right at the end of the day. Come on, on guys, and participate. We are at the finish line. All right, we are three hours into a marathon of value. Do not fall right at the last second. Now, one last time, guys. Two things I want to know. Anybody can come off mute and give some feedback on the call. 
some questions, some thoughts. We're just going to stand here. I have no problem awkwardly staring at all you. Hi, do. it's Queen. How are you? Good, Queen. How are you doing? Wonderful. I just wanted to say that I had a personal conversation with Ra Rahul, which was, in my opinion, just beyond life changing. And so we had a personal conversation. So he already knows my direction with coming on board with you guys, but I just want to say thank you for the incredible and valuable opportunity that you shared on tonight. And I will definitely be there tomorrow. And I just want to say thank you. Appreciate the kind words, Queen. Thanks so much. Look at that, Rahul. Changing lives, taking calls and changing it. Hey, yeah, guys. I mean, that's all. Yeah, hey, man. How you doing? Hey, can you hear me? Yep. All right. <clears throat> I posted a question inside the chat. Uh, but I don't know if you guys got to it, but uh, so with the strategies that we saw today, like <clears throat> the content creating, uh, the posting on, you know, the profile, the profile optimization. Now, would you if so I have VAs and they have multiple profiles. So they have like three to five profiles and they're in these groups prospecting all day. Um, you know, we have success. We're generating about like 10 to 15 appointments on Facebook uh, a, a week, right? We're looking to double that, uh, you know, add on more profiles because we're not doing cold email or anything like that. So we're looking to double down on what's, what's working, which is Facebook uh, as that channel. Now, we're do, would you guys have them do like the profile optimization, profile posting, uh, you know, and, and this strategy or like, because what we're doing right now is we're just going into groups we know our ideal, you know, we have our niche, but we know our ideal, even the company that our ideal our clients come from. So we're going to those pages, messaging them, and it's pretty much a quantity game. Could I increase yeah, so right, the right now, mm -hmm. right now, what you're doing is you're depending on like cold DMs, cold DMs, cold DMs, outreach, 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 right? You're right. not right now building these containers and creating that audience and that attraction method. So what you're doing works but it will work even better if we now add this piece to it as well. So now all of these people that they're messaging, right? We're also adding a bunch of friends every day and we're creating our profile funnels and they're also putting content on the thing. So even the people who aren't responding right away, they might add you, accept your friend request, see your content and build that. And so what we're always trying to do in marketing, my man, is understand how many buckets can I fill with each individual action, right? So we understand what are the lists we can build, friend lists, groups. We're building, you know, email lists, SMS lists. We're building chatbot lists. How many each of those buckets can I fill per action that I take? So with them right now, they're going into a group. They're taking one action. They're just DM, 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 DM. And it's a numbers game and you got to just keep sending more, right? But we're missing at least two or three other buckets we can be actually filling with that action. And so we're missing out on long-term revenue. And you're going to be in that state. You're just constantly chasing that next win. Whereas you're not building up and filling up the bag behind you. And that bag behind you is how you sustainably create the predictable pipelines. Gotcha. Right? And not just have to chase that front end stuff every time. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So they, they have to do it. Yeah. It's worth it. It's worth it pretty much. <laughs> I got it. Go. Yeah, 100%. For sure. Cool. Cool, man. Are you, sure? Are you coming tomorrow? You got tomorrow? You're good? Awesome. Good, good, good. Cool. Anybody else want to hop on? Comments, questions, takeaways? How are we doing, people? Everybody awake? Hey, Cody, just got home, man. What's the implementation call? What, what is the implementation call? What do you mean? Yeah, I, I just got oh, home. Oh, I literally oh, missed this entire thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all good. So we're going to be doing tomorrow, we're going to be working out offers. So whatever the scary offer is that you currently have, I'm going to workshop it with you. I'm then going to take that plus your process and help you build out about 30 days worth of content, conversion-based content, and teach them how to think content so that you can have that promo cycle ready to rock it. We're going to do that with the people that are on the call. And we're going to rock some shit going. Make sense? Okay. Is that where that link, that, is that what that link's about? Right there's there, a, here's a link right for now, you so for day two. There's is a that link to me, Jacob? It says. Yeah, I just shot the link over to you. Okay, cool. I said to me, I was like, is that to me, me, or is that somebody? Yes, sir, me? that's you know to you. Me? Anyway, all right, man. Cool. I pl I appreciate it. Cool. Appreciate you as well, my man. All right, thanks. All right, who else we got? What's going on? And express 
how lit this call has me. Like this, this call was the shit. I'm so glad I hopped on. Like I'm so excited about just have been in touch with y'all. Um, when I get the money together to like hop in, cause I'm like in the hole right now, but I'm just, I'm super extremely motivated to um to work with y'all you you got some things that you know i've been stuck on and things that i've been needing and you gave me a lot of that right now so i'm really appreciative for what you guys are doing um and thanks thanks cody for inviting me man man i i appreciate that dude you know what i want i want to just tell you let me zone in on you for just a second you have the tools right now from what we told you to make that money to do that next investment and take that next step so all you got to do right now is if you got to watch this like three times four times whatever the fuck you got to do do it take action put your head down get shit done and I, i'll be just waiting on the sidelines man to take you to that next level and any support you need between now and then you ask in the group will help you out dude but I love the energy. I appreciate you as well. So yeah, just put this shit to action. That's the thank you that we want. And, and then we'll see you on the other side. Okay, my man? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Cool. Appreciate you. All right. Um, what we got? GSD team. Anybody have last comments, questions from our team or from anybody else that's out there, guys? This is open mic time. Questions, thoughts, concerns. Mr. Rahul, got any monologues left in you? I know we've gone three hours long, but... You know, we got yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, the last thing, I mean, it comes down to like, what, what, do you, what do you think would get you there faster? If we looked at two options, number one, getting some help and having, exploring the opportunity to work with us to get you where you want to go, or just staying where you're at and figuring it out on your own, because that that's a key question you got to ask yourselves. We're not going to force it upon you, but it's your choice. It's your decision because you don't have to invest into yourself, but then that's probably going to be an objection that you're going to be facing quite often. Cause that's, you, we're really a mirrors of what we say we attract. Like, that's why the slogan goes birds of a feather flock together. It's true. When you see a best friend group, they all have similar mannerisms. They probably have very similar bank accounts too. Right. So when you hang out with people at a higher level, that's where you're trying to match to. So that's really the, the last thing is you don't have to buy anything you don't want, but if you want that fast track, you want success, you want to get there faster with a clear picture roadmap it's time to get resourceful, figure out what you can do for yourself personally. doesn't mean you have to jump into a, a 10 year program with anybody, but if you want to explore how we can help you, it doesn't hurt to just book a call. You'll be talking to somebody, myself, somebody on my team, and we'll just see if we can help you. I mean, it could come down to finances. It could come down to not even be the right fit, but you won't know until you try. That's my last piece that I would say is take a shot. Can't hurt you. Can only help. Who guys, anybody have any questions before we hop off? All of you beautiful people have been here for a long, long time. If you have not grabbed the ticket for tomorrow or at least a call to talk with our team about our guaranteed results and our program that is designed to fit your needs, do so. There's no reason not to. You stayed all the way to here. You need it. You've got those next steps laid out in front of you. I want to help. That's all I ever say. A lot of you guys have already grabbed the ticket. I will be pumped to get into this and implement with you action takers tomorrow in perfect action always wins it's time to put our heads down and get shit done that's it that's my last speech awesome guys so look out in your text messages your emails etc uh for the links for tomorrow we'll be sending it but if you want to pre-mark your calendar block off about two hours it's going to be 2 p.m pacific standard time tomorrow um so mark that on the calendar now um, just make sure whenever we do do implement this, try to be at the computer. It's going to be the most effective way you're going to get the most out of it tomorrow. If you're not at a computer, don't worry. It'll still be helpful for you to be able to listen in um, and also listen to the replay of tomorrow. Um, but that's all we have for you guys tonight. Um, the link is above I have a quick if question. you want it. Yeah. Who was that? That Sorry. Oh, Naeem. Yeah, sorry. I had a quick question. So tomorrow, um, because I, I, I'm pretty clear on my offer, my niche. Um, the pricing um so tomorrow you guys uh, what i don't have is the content plan so i'm just trying to be really clear on that um you guys will be walking out on building us our content plan and then pretty much marketing that 
Cool. Yeah, like so we're going to be filling out our promo cycle for the next 30 days as a team. Whoever shows up tomorrow is going to get help. We have the exact frameworks that we're going to be going over, and then we're going to be writing content, reviewing it, and then we're going to have that as our promo cycle. So over the next 30 days, we're going to be posting that shit, and you're going to be starting to get conversations going. Okay. Um, and if I'm not using my personal page because I'm using it for my other business right now, can I still can I still get this done? Like, what would you be using? Are you talking about your company page? Yeah, probably a fan page. <clears throat> you can, but it's recommended to use a profile, a personal profile. Company pages are, are pay to win nowadays. So you got to pretty much run paid traffic to be able to get organic engagement on that kind of stuff. You're going to do better with a per personal profile. Um, if you don't want to use your personal profile, you can set up a business-based secondary profile to start running and warming that up to be able to do it. A couple of people are asking about where the promo cycle is. Jacob, can you drop the link to my profile one more time? Yeah, um, so like yeah, that, DM the word that. stranger. Yeah, you'll DM Cody the word stranger and he'll be able to share that. It's in there now. So click that link, send me the word stranger and we'll get it over to you right away. Whether or not you come tomorrow, that's fine. We're still going to get you the promo cycle, but tomorrow is where we put it all to work and help you guys fill it in. All right, that was some real good silence here at the end. Everybody come off mute. Let's do some, let's make some noise a little bit. Come on guys, well, we got some energy. We're three hours and 15 minutes into this shit. You guys are rock stars. So let's end this thing with a little bit of energy. Come off mute. Yeah. And one, one thing I want to say, last tip, is that when it comes to Facebook Messenger, there are no time rules. Like imagine if you were calling somebody at one in the morning and you woke them up, they'd be like, what the fuck are you thinking? But you can DM them at one in the morning and it's totally appropriate. That's the beautiful part about DMing. You don't have to text message them and it wakes them up. The DM is just timeless. You can send whatever you want, whenever you want, and it's no boundaries. That's why I love this. That's why we can stay up if we feel like it. Like I mentioned, Starbucks moments, or I'm chilling, waiting in line for food, or I'm bored with somebody that's boring me. I can just hop on the DM if I feel like it, and 24-7 or, or eight hours a day, whatever the fuck we want. We can literally DM anybody, prospects alike, and we have all these touch points. The best part is we know when people read it. Yep. All right, guys. Come off mute, off mute, off mute, off mute, off mute. If you appreciated this at all, let's have some energy. Let's fill the rest of the room up. We got five seconds. We're going to make some noise. I don't care what kind of noise you make. Get freaky. Whatever noise you want to make, that's fine. Let's do it. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> literally broke the camera again i made so much noise so you don't get too much <laughs> all right guys appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for showing up taking action with us those of you who are coming tomorrow pumped to see you those of you who can't make it i hope i see you inside of our free group engaging with our shit and getting more value out of everything we can deliver i will see all of you on the next video uh don't forget to get shit done that's it what bye guys bye, we'll see so you tomorrow